Oh, hello there, chat. <clears throat> How are things going? How are they going? Let's let's make sure everything is lined up here. Let's make sure everything lined up. It looks good. Happy Friday, chat. Happy Friday. You have made it through the week. We've concluded another week here. We're going to be playing some magic, <clears throat> but we're not going to be playing just any magic tonight. Nope. So, spoilers, if you haven't seen the news on the internet. You ready for it? You ready for it? You might know of a, a cat, a famous cat. His name most known is Grumpy Cat. And got the news that Grumpy Cat has passed, unfortunately. And I'm going to be very honest, Grumpy Cat got me through quite a few late nights during college. There's some good laughs there. Good laughs there. Grumpy Cat was quite an inspiration for a lot of people just to be silly. And connected with probably a lot of us on a different level. And so, we're going to pay a little bit of tribute today. And we're going to be playing some Cat Tribal. Now, we've seen a list like this before, probably over six, seven months ago, give or take. So, we're going to run something very similar to what we saw, and we'll just see how it does. I am torn between a friendly and a competitive. I always usually do competitive. We might do friendly into competitive. Either way, we're going to play this kind of Cat Tribal thing. Numat, I believe, is where the list came from. Numat the Nummy, which I believe some people are probably very familiar with his drafting skills and other magic skills. What do we have in front of us? It's pretty obvious. They're all cats. In fact, I think all of them, except for like some of the removal spells that aren't really a creature, are a cat. We have Loam Lion, um, which is kind of like a curd ape sort of thing. Uh, gets plus one, plus two for a forest. We have Wild Nacatl, who's a very prominent modern in uh zoo lists we have Fle fleece main lion which is from the theros block can be monstrous and become indestructible so our big beefy tough one it's also a three three on two which isn't too bad quasali pride mage which actually might be pretty good with everyone doing their artifact stuff uh we have a way to get rid of artifacts in creature form specifically mm -hmm. cat form we have my favorite cat honestly mm -hmm. brimaz king Kitty King here, and creating the, the cat soldiers. Mm -hmm. We have pa Pride Sovereign, which is a way that you can boost cats, um, or boost itself, and then it boosts how many cats you create because it can generate cats. Mm -hmm. We have the big, the one, the only, a Johnny. This one's the Vengeant flavor, so we're going to play that. A little bit more removal, a little bit more control, maybe tap down some... Uh, permanence as well can get things out of the way mm -hmm. and then we have the regal cats here these create more cats gains us some uh life i believe uh they're life linking and it also boosts all our cats now it's a little bit on the high end we'll see if we get there with mm -hmm. this one frequently sideboard wise uh, apparently this list ran a chandra torch of defiance so we're going to bring out the the special mm -hmm. one we have a prowling separad separad which is a cat snake and I mean, I like some cat snakes here. A couple blossoming defenses, some condemns, rest in pieces, and stony silences, all the good stuff. Cat tribal. Let's run in a friendly, see if we run out of time or not, and then maybe we'll play in a competitive. But this tonight is going to be some cat stream. I'm a dog person, but I'm going to play a little tribute here to our, our friend that got us through... Probably a quite the internet sensation, if you haven't heard of said grumpy cat. 
definitely check them out. Captain Asia, welcome to the stream. We're playing something different here on Friday. Uh, this one's pretty spontaneous in terms of just getting it together. Maybe we'll find Evan here. Maybe we'll uh, we'll find him. <laughs> we'll see. We're playing this for fun. We have no idea what the outcome is. We're expecting to catch some people off guard. And just have a good time. It's Friday. I'm happy to answer questions about this list or any other list. Let's play some magic. I have two paths here, which is great if my opponent's creature base, but only one land. We're going to mulligan this. Uh, how many lands does this deck run really quick? 23 lands. More than I'm used to. Yeah, we'll mulligan this. Single land's not good. Uh, all right. I can kind of play a couple things and maybe I'll... Well, my scry's going to go away. Zoo Spice, well, bottom, uh, doesn't matter. I'm getting something out on turn one here. I'm gonna go ahead and get green and red. So I'm gonna get my stomping ground here. Play Wild Nakatle and pass turn. A little 2-2 to start it off. It's a bit of a Zoo Spice, it's a cat Zoo Spice. Inquisition of Kozilek can take Loam Lion or Lightning Bolt. They'll probably take Lightning Bolt because I can actually cast it. We are going to need a little bit of help here with the land department before we draw too many other creatures. How you doing, Uncle DB? How are you doing? Ranger Ravine's an okay draw. It's an okay draw. Not getting in for three. Don't know what my opponent's on. Looks like green-black of sorts. Plays the Tarmogoyf. All right. We need our white mana. We'll get it, we'll get it. Then we'll have this path. Don't worry. We'll get there. <clears throat> it looks like just a straight green black here. Ooh, and we're gonna be uh, very much powered out here. Wild Nakatl is going down. Needing white mana. Needing white mana. The Ever Blight. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome. What did I deserve? What did I deserve that for? Thank you so much for your Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. Get rid of this Regal. The Regal one's going pretty good. Did, did you post that green devotion list you were playing with a few days ago? I have a soft spot for green. I have posted it, a video is up, and it made the 5-0 competitive modern deck list publish. By the way, we're getting severely beaten down here. Severely. Scavenging news here. Uh, four, five, six. Eats. Eats. If I shock, they just kill. Oh my gosh, I don't think I get out of this chat. I guess I shock it in with the idea that I can put this down. But he's not very big. He's very tiny. I think I'm conceding here. He's gonna eat some stuff. He can kill this and kill me. All right. Green, black. The friendly leagues are gonna be difficult for Cat Tribal. But we're not here to win. We're here to experience life. <laughs> okay, what are we looking at here? Probably a Condemn. Rest in Peace could be interesting too. Lightning Helix. Stony Silence is a no. We don't need to worry about counters. Chandra's all right. Uh, Prime Mage isn't doing extra. Lightning Helixes, Blooming Defenses, a Condemn, mm -hmm. and Rest in Peace. All of this kind of seems interesting to me. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at here? Path is fine, Lightning Bolt's fine, Wild in the Cuddle. Probably go down some of these Pride Mages. They're not killing too, too much. I could see like a Rest in Peace, a Condemn, and a Lightning Helix for the Pride Mages. Let's see here. Probably take two Regals out here. Maybe get one Chandra in. Maybe a second Rest in Peace and one Chandra. The Condemn's probably reasonable to consider. Kind of like this top end, though. 
This will require us to have quite a board state. Maybe I just get rid of all the regals. They're not really burning us out, so the lifelink's not going to really matter too much, I don't think. Although, if we get a board presence, then one of these would be good. You know what? I'll, I'll keep... I'm mean, keeping one or two of these. And is Chandra really that good? Chandra's a good removal for something a little bit bigger. Double red might be hard. Let's take Chandra out and bring the Condemn in. Yeah. I might want just the Helix, actually. All right, we're going to run it with the Helix instead of the Condemn. We're going to run it that way. That moment when you're volunteering at a dance competition. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. All right, this hand looks a little bit better and a little bit weaker. No creatures, but a lot of removal. We're going to go ahead and keep this. We'll play a little, little burn-like here. My opponent's probably going to thought seize something away. I can go get a Sacred Foundry with this first card here. Gotta play those Naya colors. Those things are a little bit different for us. Gotta remember all these great cards we can get. Um, let's go and play the Razor Verge Thicket. We have Helix Online and Bolt. Just in case they play some nasty little creature. Okay. Uh, Raging Ravine is next. We'll go ahead and pass turn. We're uh, sort of flooding out here now. We have six lands and a 23 land deck. A little, little high. A little high. I expect my opponent has like straight removal based on them not doing anything here. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll just play that tap, pass turn. When we get our creatures, it'll be amazing. I'm very curious what my opponent has. Four mana. Bayloth. Uh, I don't think I want to Helix and Bolt that just yet. Let's go ahead and see what our turn. What does this take? Four mana? I could swing in for four. Let's go ahead and offer that. Let's offer this. Get that 4-4 four, four swinging in here. Undo that 4 life they gained. I don't expect to be able to do that too often here. <laughs> I don't expect to just waltz right in there too often. The Dark Confidant, we'll remove that. What else do you have, opponent? I'm expecting, like... I don't know. I don't know what I expect. Let's go ahead and Lightning Helix Dark Confidant here. I guess I can just double bolt this Bayloth next turn. Could just double double bolt. It's probably what I have to do. I'm gonna go to 14 here. Try not to take any damage off these lands. There's a scavenging news. Could bolt that now. Let's go ahead and do that. There's only one creature over here. They might eat it. That's fine. Chooses not to. Goodness gracious, another land. One, two, three, four. I don't have double bolt if I were to do that. Kind of worried about a fatal push here. I think we're just gonna have to Helix and Lightning Bolt the Bayloth. Not really getting anywhere with my uh, lands here. One, two, three, four. I could boot this up and then I'd have. I could have Bolt and Helix. In case things go really weird here. I 
Could offer this trade. Let's go ahead and try to offer this trade. So this would be Bolt, and that this would be Helix. This is Bolt, by the way. Let's go ahead and tap that for one then. I'll go get another land here. Go get my planes. Go ahead and Helix and Bolt, and then fetch a land out as well. A little two for one dust. That's all right though. Got the Assassin's Trophy out. Three cards, something else showing up here. Braska. Not too worried about that. They're gonna gain some life. I don't easily kill Braska. By the way, we're pretty much out of lands at this point. All right. Two, three, four, four, five. Play the Regal. Making some cat tokens. I think I'm actually gonna hold these two cards. I'm at 16. My little kitty cats have a have a life link. Blooming Marsh. Sack a potent minute. Sacks Blooming Marsh to draw a card. This is at eight. Emblem is whenever a creature controls deals combat damage. Lose the game, that's at nine. Three, three, and two, two, twos. Get another one of these and things could get interesting for my opponent. These are non-legendary, by the way. got for me opponent you have a muta vault and a treetop village here you can boot up treetop by these and one muta vault with that oh my goodness chat i mean i guess i'm gonna go ahead and swing at vraska see what they want to boot up here if anything treetop I'm gonna trade with this one. They use Mutavault for this. Blocks a life linker. Can take five here. Assassin's trophy. Let me see what I have to fetch here, if anything. I have an Arid Mesa left, two Ragings, three Razor Verges, and just Fetch Land. So this Fetch Land's dead. That's what I wanted to check. So I'll go ahead and play out past turn. We have some really beefy creatures if we can find them. The key is finding them. Card advantage through Vraska here. Choosing to keep all lands this time. They want to definitely emblem here and kill us, which is very likely here. We do hit a path. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think we got this. Viridian! The flood is real. The flood is real. How you doing? How you doing? Boots up Mutavault, boots up Village here. If they boot up both of these, I concede. I don't have enough removal. Block here. We'll definitely go ahead and path here. Can't take any damage. How's it going, my friend? 15 months. Oh my gosh. Oh, this has trample. My bad. Trample chat. I don't think we were getting out of it anyway. I'll be very honest. <laughs> We've been doing all right. 
been doing all right. We've been pretty consistent with that pyro prison stuff. Bolt, Helix. That wasn't going to do it against a Tarmogoyf. Not going to do it against a Tarmogoyf. All right, let's go. Let's go again. Warming up. Figuring out the cat tribal deck. Seeing if we can't put a W on the board for for our friends, the cats. We've been just working at the car wash. Now we've just been working, streaming. Been a little while. I think I saw you on uh, Wednesday checking in. We're super quiet. But I make sure my wolf pack's there. I make sure you guys are there. Uncle DB, 100 bits. Thank you so much. Here's some bits for that flood damage. Oof. Gonna go buy an insurance premium there. All right, let's keep this. We still have quite a few lands, considering, well, our top end's at five, but it is a lot of lands. All right, let's lead with a Razor Verge Thicket here. A little wild Nakata, a little Ah, okay. Okay, well, a little thing in the ice. A little thing in the ice. Let's go ahead and attack for one here. I'm gonna then shock in the stomping ground if they block. They don't, all right. Let's do it this way. Wild Nakato's a little bigger. Gotta keep it on the down low. Every now and then at, w at work, I'll, I'll put a stream on and just kind of sit in the corner of the room. Nothing, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Sometimes I'll put headphones in while I'm working too. It's kind of like listening to a podcast for some people. All right, do I bother pathing this? No. Ooh, all right, that's a card. Let's windswept teeth here. Attack. Go ahead and fetch a, a Temple Garden untapped and get that extra point of damage in. Let's go ahead and play Fleece Main Lion out. Ho ho! Didn't see that one, did you, opponent? We're gonna leave the path open here, although them thought scouring, I'm almost tempted to go ahead and just path this now. It gives them an extra land here but this won't flip then by accident and they can't counter now i think i'm okay giving them the extra land here they might go a little crazy here with this pyromancer's ascension but i'm willing to take this risk playing into that extra mana that's okay if they're just going to cantrip and flip the thing in the ice anyway i i really don't want that happening right now not with, not with my kitty cats striking in for the damages. Lightning bolts, fleece main lion. That's probably a pretty good idea. Gets a counter here because there was one bolt. Oh my gosh, they had two bolts. Wow. All right, we're definitely gonna bring in these rest in pieces. Rest in pieces. I got rid of all my creatures. Now they're drawing a lot of cards too. I have no way to interact with the graveyard here in the main. It's, uh, it's not a thing. Uh, I do have a way to interact with this enchantment though. Kusali Pride Mage off the top would be good. I have three main board. Kind of kill that and kill all the stuff that's going on here. Apparently my opponent's just gonna go ham sauce here and cast everything. Refill their hand, possibly. We are, by the way, one of the most fair decks I've ever played. Play a cat, pass the turn, swing with cat, pass the turn. 
bolt the opponent past the turn. One faithless down. <clears throat> One Phoenix in the yard right now. I don't feel too good about this. There's a lot of mana still over there. Manamorphose. At this point, they could flash back Faithless Looting as well. Our opponent is comboing out here. We are going to make them combo it out though. So we want to give our cats the best opportunity to win the game. <laughs> Do we expect to win a lot tonight, chat? Absolutely not. What is your favorite tribal deck to play? Maybe we'll put it in the line, in the in the queue for a, another day. I like me some slivers, some uh, some birds. Cats are pretty good. Zombies aren't bad. Goblins are fun. Elves aren't aren't bad. They're they're actually pretty good too. Goblins and and elves are pretty good. You got it, opponent. You keep going. One-eye tribal? How many one-eyes are there? How many one-eyes are there? Thought scour. Double thought scour. Oh, the eyes. Yeah, following. For everything they've done, I'm a little surprised that they've only hit one Phoenix so far. But maybe they're about to just Faithless Looting and dump all, all the rest of them. And if they do, I don't think there is a top deck that will save us from 12 points of damage. Let's see if this is Faithless Looting. Here we go. They are through a lot of their deck. There's two Arc Lights. Free Folk Tribal is pretty good. Pretty good stuff. All right, I can take care of one of these next turn. Oh, we drew Brimaz too. So I can kill one of these. Which is probably not right to do there. Because <clears throat> they just have to cast three spells now. But I don't think we're getting through anyway. I'm pretty sure they probably have a bolt. I'm pretty sure they have a bolt. Tree Folk is pretty good. I like some Nyx Fleece Ram in there. All right, all right, all right. Pyromancer's Ascension, we have a rest in peace. We're definitely bringing that in. A couple rest in pieces here. Pride Mage is probably fine. I think Lightning Helix is considerable here. Condemns are interesting. What is not interesting? What's not doing enough here? Lightning Bolt doesn't actually hit too many things. It might be worth considering to take these out. Albeit we do have to kind of get through at some point. Let's see here. I like Path. Like I said, I like Condemn over maybe two bolts. So let's start there. I like Prime Mage and two Rests and Pieces. And I like that... I'm not sure what I like that over. Maybe maybe a regal. Like a pair of regals. I think having four of these is maybe a mistake in this deck. So that's five. That's four out. You can take one, uh, one lightning bolt out and replace the other lightning bolt with a helix just to gain life. A little harder to cast, but I think the gaining life is important. I don't think there's anything else I want. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So extra Pride Mage for the Pyromancer's Ascension. A couple rests and pieces for obviously the graveyard. Helixes are just gaining life instead of playing a bolt where I don't gain life. And then we have our normal game plan here. <clears throat> we'll see if it works. Alright, I'm gonna keep it. We have a rest in peace. Absolutely no other reason to keep it here. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch shock, I think. Although I could just get a basic forest here.
You know what? I'm just going to get a basic forest because... Because... Alright, Serum Vision's here. I'm wondering if I should jam this pet, pet rest in peace or if should get the lions out. It's probably just the lion here. Hit for three and then they have two targets here. And I can play another lion behind this and wait until maybe they go a little bit into the graveyard here. There's a Thought Scour. They whiffed on the land too. I like my lion a lot more now. Land here would be nice. No lands, that's fine. Play another one of these lions and swing for a six. We're doing it. I do see this phoenix over here, chat. Don't worry, I have the path. It's only one phoenix. They can do whatever they want to me. If they're getting that phoenix back and that's all they're doing, I'm going to smack them for nine. We're looking good here. Maybe I look like I don't play rest in peace. Why would he keep that terrible hand? Bolt's one. Bolts too. All right, this is a perfect time, I think, now to play our loam lion out, swing for three, and get this rest in peace going. Because they do have a phoenix there, and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Jam Town, what's up, Jam Town? Ooh, how you doing? I'm expecting them to continue to remove my creatures here. Thing in the ice, we can get rid of that, no problems. Um, I think I'm just gonna path it now to get it out of the way. And this is protected from spell pierce. Opponent concedes. Opponent concedes, chat. The cats are here. Woo! That's a victory in itself. We got a game. Now we gotta go to game three. But we just took a game off one of the big prominent decks of modern. So these regals are probably not going to get there. They're too high up on the curve. Lightning Bolt again is not doing a whole lot here. I could I could entertain an extra lightning helix in here somewhere. I could entertain this card just a little bit. Just a little bit. FNM just finished round one. 2 0 against blue white. 20 life both games. <clears throat> Which deck you play in, Jam Town? Now for the match, exactly. We gotta win one match. That is that is the goal. I like this. This is a ooh man, this is a slam dunk hand. Slam dunk. Heck yeah. Can't really do anything. Turn oh my gosh, some phoenixes. Please, opponent, do not have the wind slam here. Don't triple manamorphose me, opponent. Thank goodness. They had it too, chat. I believe they did. What do we get in here? Stomping ground? No, I'm gonna get this white mana. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rest in peace immediately here. There's a there's no reason to wait. That's too scary. Double Phoenix off of Faithless, that's too scary. Opponent, just passing the turn. Did I put this in correctly? I hope I did. Let's play this dude. And we're gonna play Fleece Main, even though it might get bolted here. I'd prefer to keep this Pride Mage around. Prism with four great creators. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, opponent. Calm, calm, calm yourself, opponent. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and run out the next cat. Obviously, it, it doesn't uh, kill anything at the moment. My opponent apparently will not draw a land. We'll get a basic planes here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's get in for some extra damage. We might have it here. I will say my opponent is apparently... Mana screwed. The internet has blessed us with this win, chat. Do you find this very fitting today, chat? We're, we're playing a tribute here. If 
you missed the intro, we're playing a tribute. If you watch the news, there was a passing of a great internet icon. May he rest in peace. Or she. Oh crap, I don't know, chat. I don't know. Help me. We did it, Grumpy Cat. We did it. With rest in peace. It's so fitting. And I'm pretty sure our opponent is very grumpy right now. I'll respect this. I'll respect that. I want to see some Fs in the chat. Let's respect. If you were not touched by Grumpy Cat, by the way, please go watch some videos of Grumpy Cat. And you'll be touched. It got me through some college days. It was good. All right. Apparently, we're going to have a bajillion 1-1s. One and then we're going to have a big 3-3. Three, three. So let's do it. Wild Nakata, let's go. We've achieved our goal tonight, chat. There's nothing else to do. Heck yeah. Cool cat. All right. Inquisitions me. You can take any of this great stuff here, opponent. They're just a few little one ones. Nothing special over here, opponent. Takes in a coddle. I find that a little bit interesting. Let's go ahead and play our fleece main and get him for Uno damage. Uno damage. Alright, what do you got for me, opponent? Nothing. Nothing. Let's go ahead and swing in here. I'm probably just cracking this for some good stuff here. Sat abrupt decays that one. Let's go ahead and get our red and our let's see mountain plains. Sacred foundry. Make sure we're hitting for maximum damage. Get another one of these out. And pass the turn. We could path our own Nakato if they go after one of these. Could have pathed our Fleece Maiden Lion. This would only be if I want to get a Johnny out. We'll see what they play here. Their Field of Ruining me. I'll go get my Planes. I was going to say, if they go after one of these... Oh, a Thoughtseize. Uh, awkward. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> you can have a Johnny. All right, I, I kind of would take a land here, although I'd take a creature too. I would take that creature. Chat, if you're not familiar with this card, this is literally one of my favoriteest of cards from uh, that interesting block with the gods. It is Brimaz. Brimaz Kitty King, the legend that be. The legend that be. My opponent scoops it up. What is happening? What is happening? All that main deck artifact removal. Everyone's scared of Karn the Great Creator. No! You should be scared of these, these cats. Fear the cats, chat. Fear the cats. All right. Cat Tribal OP confirmed. Heck yeah. I'm going to take a few of these Lone Lions out. They seem weaker. I think a Rest in Peace or two is not a bad idea. Maybe just a one to spike in case Tarmogoyf becomes a problem. Uh, Chandra and a couple Helixes seem okay here. What do I think is not very good here? I think it's just take some Lone Lions out. They're two threes, but that gets really outclassed by my opponent. A little extra removal. Chandra's a good top end here, and then this Rust in Peace, and we're actually going to leave a, a Regal in. Um, five mana, three creatures is it's reasonable. A lot of blockers. A lot of gaining life. A lot of that stuff. Could be huge. Could be huge. Prides. Sovereigns. All of this could happen. All of this could happen if we just believe. If we just believe. It's a pretty good hand. I'm going to keep it. Needs a land. 
Needs a land, but I like what we got here. We got some goodies. We have some goodies here. It's going to be stripped apart here a little bit by my uh, lovely opponent over there. They might be taking Wild or Lightning Bolt here, or they might take Brimaz, because Brimaz is really difficult to kill. Okay, it takes a Wild in the Coddle. Mm. All right, we'll jam a little creature out. It's not that great, but it's a creature nonetheless. A little 1-1. One, one. It is our singleton that is remaining in, in Lone Lion's here to prove his worth. I salute you, Lone Lion. Let's do it. All right, there's the Tarmogoyf. Obviously, I'm just going to swing in here. This is not a forest. I do this. Tarmogoyf blocks. I can bolt this then because it'll have one point of damage on it. Thank you, opponent. I need the one point here because Lightning Bolt will make it a three, a four. That should kill it. I don't mind doing that because I have bolts in hand. Um, they get to untap, get to play an Abrupt Decay or something like that. Planeswalker and I have to kind of pitch a Johnny or something. Uh, it just feels kind of bad. All right, they have another, another Tarmogoyf. I'm just gonna have to deal with that one. All right, we do hit a land here, and I think we already have all of our mana colors. I can go get a basic forest here. I think it's just, let's be mana efficient and play Brimaz. If they have Assassin's Trophy, great. If they don't, even better. All right, what else does Brimaz do? Well, he's vigilant, not gonna move anywhere. He brings in the cat soldiers. It's all good too. Let's hope we don't find a Liliana here, although it looks like we are. Lily, sack, kill Brimaz? That's very rude of you, opponent. We could get this Ajani down next turn and tap down Tarmogoyf, although Treetop Village is a problem. Path is really good to draw here. Question is, which one am I subjecting? Probably Pride Mage here. Pride Mage itself can get through or equal out the treetop village here. We are going to have to discard something to Liliana. It's probably going to be a Johnny. So much as I don't want it to be a Johnny. And if they thought sees or something here, oh, there's a fatal push. We could also pitch Fleece Main Lion, Path Tarmogoyth. If we get a land, we get to a Johnny. If we're not getting a land, I don't know what we're doing. Probably playing whatever it is. If we do that, we could also tag Liliana. Liliana can just kind of kill Fleece Main Lion. Let's go with the line that we're going to draw a land here. Let's go with the line we're going to draw a land. There goes the scavenging news. Go ahead and path this. And we'll go to our turn here. They have plenty of mana here to activate, say, Treetop Village or other things. One thing I'm wanting a little more in this deck, if you were to take it for some fun and a spin, is definitely a little bit more on the, the basics. If they go after my red mana, it's going to be awkward. Kitchen Finks here. A little 3 2. All right. So we find a Fleece Main Lion. I don't think I can sit back here. I've got to play it, I guess. So if they. Go up here and don't have any removal. They can just uptick. Please, no removal. Thank you. They may also consider down ticking Liliana and just get in for five with Treetop Village and Kitchen Finks. I think if they did that, I would tap down like Treetop Village, maybe. Or maybe Kitchen Finks because it's more mana mm -hmm. intensive the other way. All right, now I need a red source if I do top deck a land because I can go get my planes here. 
but I don't have a basic mountain. Activates treetop village. So they're looking here. I'm not gonna block here. I'm gonna force Liliana to do Liliana things. If they wanna keep Liliana, they need a down tick here. All right. So that's how we got rid of Liliana. Land and a Johnny here could do something. We do find a creature at least. We're very far behind though. This doesn't do a whole lot for me. If it were to live, it could create blockers. I don't expect it to live here though. And that would also require me to be open on the mana side. They just abrupt decayed and get in for six, it looks like. I'm gonna be at one. I don't think I have a top deck here. I don't think I have a top deck, not with three lands. If I had five, I'd have a top deck. And it's a tap land. And it's a tap land. Ah. Well, we tried. We did get a W there. Just didn't get the match. Didn't get the match. Which is pretty good against green black. Not gonna lie. Ah, Helix actually was a top deck. Just kidding. No red mana. Oh. That's right, we won the first one. Well, let's play some more green-black, opponent. Let's play some more green-black. What pets do people have? We always talk about my barking dog. What about you guys? Guys and gals, what do you guys have? All right. We're going to keep this. I'm probably going to just ditch this Raging Ravine into the field. Sometimes I loosely say ditch when I really mean play. Following that, maybe Sacred Foundry untap. Maybe not. We'll get to this Regal if we can. I can't imagine they thought sees that away. It's a ways out there. It's a ways out there. Five Great Danes and a cat. Does your cat think it's a Great Dane? Oh my gosh. And three dogs. I respect three dogs. Five Great Danes. Uncle DB, do you live on a ranch or something? You do not live in an apartment, even though Great Danes can be pretty lazy dogs. <laughs> Cats like it. Uh, do I want this to go away? We're just gonna shock this in. This seems a little loose. Rest in peace though. Gonna keep the graveyard in check for Tarmogoyf, and if that's where they're going with this next play, I don't want them playing it. Simple as pie there, chat. Gonna thought seize away probably the regal. I can't imagine lightning helix scares them that much. There goes the regal. Thought seize is also in exile. Raging ravine tap past turn. Any more discard, obviously, I have to fire off lightning helix just to get it out of hand and use it. They tend to walk you. Do you walk all of them at the same time? My gosh, I hope you don't. All right, we're gonna hold the Lightning Helix for a turn here. Most of the stuff is one and two drops. Ugh. All right, we'll use this and fetch. I don't have an extra land here. No extra way to get this going, so we gotta wait a turn. Two at a time, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, two at a time, holy cow. Burden Catacombs, fetching with Burden Catacombs, playing a four drop. Kalidus. I don't know how I feel about Kalidus right now. I probably go ahead and fire the Helix off here at the light at the Liliana. And I'll probably threaten by attacking. Yeah. 
I threaten attacking here. So the reason I'm doing this instead of playing pride, one, pride can be removed, but two, if I have pride out and Liliana's going, all these 1-1 one -one creatures that I create don't do anything. So I'm either going to get Kalidas off here or I'm going to get this Liliana off. And I'm okay with both of these. I'm at five mana anyway. So I'm good with this. By the way, the whole die trigger stuff's not going to really work for my opponent, so we got that going for us. They have a Field of Ruin now. It's a little bit of a problematic card. So I think I'm just going to play the Pride a Sovereign in past turn here. I did not leave any white up, so I, I'm not indicating to my opponent I have Path or Helix. They do not have a end step removal like Abrupt Decay. I'm guessing they have like two Tarmogoyce or something. Their last kind of two plays didn't worry me. <laughs> okay, main deck or main uh, main phased. We could fire up this Raging Ravine and swing in here. Let's see. I think I might do this. Go ahead and, and see if they want the bait here on this Raging Ravine. I'm kind of doing this so that I get a second Raging Ravine with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, so they both could block. I don't plan to get that far up with the mana. Let's go ahead and grab our land. I probably go ahead and play Quasali Pride Mage so I can do Rage and Ravine and have Quasali Pride Mage going. Oops. Let's move out of end step. There we go. Our end combat. Currently, it's not killing anything. If this is a fatal push, it was going to kill it anyway. It doesn't kill my Raging Ravine, which I'm kind of happy with. We do have to be worried about hitting Quagmire. Although, it looks like they're just down for the beatdowns here. Scavenging news. Okay. That's a great top deck, actually, at this point in the game. We'll go ahead and play that out and pass turn. Make some uh, little 2 2 lifelinkers. So our Rage and Ravine's a little bit offline right now. Scavenging news doesn't get any bigger, which is good for us. Swings with life linking. Might just triple block here. Force them to use everything if they have it. And then they can kill this if they want. That's fine. I gain a little bit of life. They do too. A couple one ones. Not the greatest, but we'll have Raging Ravina online. Kitchen Finks. Gains a little bit of life. Wild Nacatl. I'm cool with playing this out. I'm actually cool with being on defense with Rage and Ravine as well. Along with my kitty cats. Let's uh let's be on the defense here. In your opinion, what's the best deck in modern besides Red Prison? Besides Red Prison. Look at that 01 chat. No attacks. Besides Red Prison. Naya Cats. <laughs> I could see an argument for a couple things. We can hold this. Blue-white can be strong depending on the meta. Amulet Titan seems to be a pretty strong combo deck right now. I'm actually not going to say Tron. I don't think Tron's very good right now. I think I think a traditional Tron, Green Tron, is not too bad, but I think they're trying to do too much right now. Attack with Ravine into the Hissing Quagmire? No, thank you. Let's 
go ahead and that's one too many. Let's go ahead and boot this guy up here. I'm expecting this to be killed. There's the fatal push. Uh, how do we want to do this? I think I just bolt hissing quagmire, double block this. Hope they don't have one more path here. Wild Nakato is bigger than both of these other things and they're not growing. Cool. We'll play that dude. Now I can attack. Now I can attack, chat. Lone Lion coming back says, hey, hey, don't forget about me. We have a long road ahead of us. We need a, a little bit of a quicker clock here. Another Tarmogoyf. Thank you, rest in peace. I'm gonna hold this card. I'm gonna attack with Wild Nakato again. Lone Lion can block scavenger news right now. I do need something bigger though. It's not auto yield here. All right, all right, we're doing something here. It's slow. Oh my goodness. Is Wolf Tribal possible in modern? I have no idea. My opponent fetches. They're getting kind of sick and tired of us uh, doing this to them. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here for us. Tireless tracker is annoying. Kitchen Finks is it's okay. It's not great. Werewolves for sure. That could be a thing, yeah. Path is not bad here. Let's go ahead and path this Kitchen Finks here and then get in for our three damage we've been doing. I don't think it's smart to go in for five yet. Maybe next turn we can consider five. Thought sees take two, my opponent. Take two. Check in the hand. We can play these cards out now. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. I don't want to take damage here. I'm going to swing with the team. Can we take, take it to them, chat? I'm going to swing for five here. I'm a little surprised Goyf is not blocking. I don't expect Goyf to grow very large, even if they say he got an abrupt decay right now. <laughs> cat Tribal in Modern. Maybe we should play more of these Cat Tribal games. Maybe we should play more Cat Tribals. We're two and one, chat. It is a friendly modern league, but we are two and one. That's about 200% more than I expected. <laughs> Let's rock it. Rest in peace, man. It's a pretty good card. Everyone's got all this probably artifact removal and we're just like jamming creatures. Right, that's what cats do. Look in the paw. Was a fantastic comeback. And rest in peace did wonders. Shut off Scoos. Scoos was just a little 2 2. Made Tarmogoyf a 0 1. Made Kitchen Finks not come back, although the one time we did get the path. We did double block, though, the one time as well. We have a chance to make our money back. This is why I love modern. Anything, and I repeat, anything built well can take wins. Uh, we're going to mulligan this one land. Johnny's not doing it here. We have two five drops as well. We can uh, try it better here. This is a lot better. Uh, basic planes here. Um, I guess I don't mind that. It gets us our third land. I can go fetch accordingly here. Stomping ground. And then we'll have all of our colors. I don't mind that. Whoa, 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 opponent. We just played we just played someone like you. Calm down over there. Calm down. Stomping ground, untapped. 
We also had the Razor Verge Thicket in case we didn't want to take our own damage here. Okay, 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 okay. I see you over there, opponent. Um, let's play this out, and let's actually try to get in for four here. I'm gonna get greedy here. Go for four. Exalted trigger. I like me some exalted. Exalted. Four damage. Take that. Path? Fatal push? Abrupt decay? Assassin's Trophy? Lightning Bolt? Can't Lightning Bolt, I guess, now. Oh, gosh. Alright, I'm gonna jam out a creature here. This is gonna make this little cat bigger. This is gonna make it even bigger. Sorry, this one gets bigger. Uh, let's just attack with Wild Nakatl. I don't want to run into a Snapcaster with some weird shenanigans here. Uh, and let's hit for four again. They have double bolt? Man, this is gonna get huge. Blessings from Grumpy Cat. Rest in peace, my friend. <clears throat> I don't know what we're playing against. Green, black, white, blue, off windswept. Four colors. Yargle. Got nothing, chat. All right, we're gonna bring in a couple prowlings because they can't be countered. I'm gonna get one one regal out. Maybe one path out. They don't feel like they're a creature deck necessarily. Let's take one Loam and bring in a Chandra as well. I don't know. We saw Overgrown Tomb, Hallowed Fountain, Concede. What? What plays those? That five-color Niv-Mizzet deck plays that. Four-color Death Shadow doesn't even really play that, right? Because they don't have usually white. Oh, what is this mess of a hand? Um, I guess I'll keep. It's a bit of a mess. Let's play Rage and Ravine. Pass turn. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, what I want to get exactly with the Arid Mesa here. Yeah, it's the it's the five color Niv Mizzet stuff. Okay, so here I want to get looks to be a Temple Garden probably. Let's play a Fleece Maiden Lion here, past turn. A Johnny could be on time here, and I probably want to consider that. Bring the Light is our enemy. Bring the Light is our enemy. Mm. Multicolored spells. Jeskai Colors, D-Sphere. I'm okay with D-Sphere, that's fine. That's fine, opponent. Windswept Teeth. Do we want to be on time with the Johnny, or do we want some extra creatures? We probably want to be on time with the Johnny, so let's go ahead and play Loam Lion here and pass turn. We're doing this because they're going to be at four mana. I can tap down uh, something of relevance here. Ooh. Bird Paradise. Well, let's attack, see if they want to block with Bird. I don't like where we're at exactly, but I think we can do some interesting things here. So we'll go ahead and play a Johnny here. I can actually um, prevent the forest from untapping. I think that's kind of what I want to do here. It's a little silly, but maybe next turn I can like a Johnny tick down and do something. Oh gosh, what are we doing here, opponent? Oh, Assassin's Trophy, okay. Okay, opponent. Um, let's make sure we're not ye whoops, not yielding. We're gonna get our planes here, because now we can play Loam Lion. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I want to play Loam Lion. If they bring the light and go get Niv Mizzet, I can path it, and then I can path and tap down something. That that sounds delicious. All right, I don't know what my opponent's doing here. Go ahead and attack for some damage. Let's go 
an attack. It's probably Brimaz here. Brimaz, because we have the double white now, I'd rather have a Johnny and Path available next turn to a Johnny and Path for one uh, something. Helixing the bird is an idea, but I guess it didn't really matter at this point. My opponent apparently had a million, million little creatures. Uh, bonus Brimaz isn't good here. A Johnny. I guess I could play a Johnny and like remove a bird. That seems relatively weak here. Let's just swing with the team and see if we get anywhere with this. We'll make a Cat Soldier as well. It does attack, by the way. Oh, opponent. Helix? This? Mm. Helix is a lone lion. That's fine. <laughs> Cats beat the, beat the crap out of birds. They're like rival enemies, right? Uh, once again, I'm going to go ahead and play the creature instead. Just kind of flooding the board with creatures at this point. They have one card in hand, and they had a helix something. I just... They have all kinds of colored mana here. Anything they want, but I'm not worried about Bring the Light at the moment. And even if they play Bring the Light, I just brim as behind it if they have <clears throat> something frightening. So in response to this, I'm going to go ahead and path it and get it out of here before they draw something that could counter that. Cool. All right. What do you get, opponent? Color pairs. Lands you don't get. Wow. I'm so sorry, opponent. You drew two cards. You drew two cards, opponent. Oh my gosh. That was a, um, a whiff. And they can't tap down to play Kaya here. We're swinging in, chat. Let's see here. Say block, block, block. We get in for one, four. I'm almost tempted just to do that. Let's just attack with the team here. Get in for like six damage here, I think. One extra Brumaz token and one Ranging Ravine counter. They're gonna block there. Obviously, they've kind of got to block this. One, two, three, four, five. They can go get Bring the Light and do something else again. But I think I actually get around Niv Mizzet plus an Ajani uh, Helix to the face. Five. Nope. All right. They take four here. Go to seven. I think we're good. Bring the light for Niv Mizzet again. Draw a bunch of cards. One, two, three, four, five. Have one mana open. That doesn't win the game. And this Kaya doesn't win the game either, by the way. Okay, we're going for Bring the Light here. <clears throat> Maybe they have a Wrath effect. If they have a Wrath effect, I think I just swing with Raging Ravine and then I plan to do this. So I like our line so far. But I am expecting like a um, Supreme Verdict. Is that what I expect here? Yep, Supreme Verdict. There we go. Cool stuff. I'll just go get like Sacred Foundry. It doesn't matter at this point. One, two. All right, so let's just boot this up here. That works. We'll attack for five. <clears throat> Put them to two. They definitely have some stuff I'm sure they can play here. Question is, are they playing stuff to protect themselves or are they gonna gain some life here with Kaya or you know, what are they gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six, they have six mana. 
I do feel like we're in a really good spot. This is going to be a 5-5 five five anyway. That's going to be difficult for my opponent to kill. Especially since most of the time they're going to have multicolored spells. Do we have another niv -Mizzet? We beat another niv -Mizzet. We just a Johnny and Lightning Helix them. What do you got? Bring the light. Something that gains you like 8 life. That would be smart. Bring the light goes and gets. Nib is it and gets all this stuff it's good stuff all right we just play a johnny and lightning helix them this can only spend it for multicolored spells so they have to have a dual colored single all that good stuff shenanigans and that's just not going to happen for my opponent good game opponent good game we got there hey we got there we are doing magic things tonight <laughs> we're three and one cat tribal take it to your local f and m chat <laughs> cat tribal we're saluting Grumpy Chat, Grumpy Chat, <laughs> Grumpy Cat tonight, chat. If you're not familiar with Grumpy Cat, please go see the GIFs, the YouTube videos, and all of that online. Positive record achieved for a positive night. I will be honest, though, there have been plenty of times that I got a good, nice laugh out of something that was a Grumpy Cat meme, and... Sometimes when you're just bashing your head in college or, you know, got a down day, it, it definitely was a little smile on the face. Gif? Gif? I'll say both. I'll say both and tilt someone off the face of the earth. All right, let's play first here. This is a bad hand. Let's mulligan this. Can't play wild in the cottle, can't do anything. All right, this hand's good. Kate? But I will say both. I'm happy to say both. We're gonna put that on top. That's actually not a bad card to have on top. Let's uh, let's see here. Let's lead with Stomping Ground. We're gonna do this because this indicates Titan Shift. Maybe my opponent will play towards some big mana things instead of little creatures. In their play of turn one. You just like bringing attention to it? That's fair. That's fair. Let's go ahead and bring this in tapped and just play Wild Nakadal on turn two. Nice and slow approach here. There was no uh, turn one from my opponent. Single black swamp. Oh! All right. We'll drown catacombs and swamp. I like this. I like what we're playing against. Thought Scour. I don't like it anymore. What are you doing over there? Oh, I don't like it at all. Narc Amoeba. Narc Amoeba. Amoeba, Amoeba, Amoeba. Mm -hmm. It's 1-1. One, one. We're going to teach that 1-1 one, one a lesson. All right, let's shock this in. Let's make sure we tap correctly. I'm going to play Pride Mage here. I'm going to leave a Bolt here, but I'm probably going to be playing Loam Lion right behind this. We're going to hit for four, though. See if we can't suggest Narc Amoeba block here. That's fine. Totally cool. Go ahead and play Lone Lion. Pass the turn. What do you got for me, opponent? We thought scoured into Narc Amoeba, and now we have three mana. Field of Ruin. That's a fine card. Black, white. Sorry. Black, colorless. Not white. This is white. That's colorless. Don Rawls, meow. How you doing? 
All right, creatures, rest in pieces are going to come in here. Them rest in pieces. Uh, Prime Mage is probably not a bad idea. Helixes are maybes. Not really sure, though. These five kind of interesting me. Let's take two Regals out. Thank you. Pro lead 237 for the Witch Prime. I appreciate it. Your support goes a long way, and you get these sweet, sweet emotes that you can use all over Twitch. Don't forget to use them. Welcome to the Wolf Pack. No problem. I try to give the content. We try to give the content. All right, Regals are here. I like a lot of creatures in this matchup. Uh, paths are weak, in my opinion. We're just going to run over my opponent. Actually, paths are maybe stronger than lightning bolts, right? But lightning bolts hit face. Ugh. Maybe lightning bolts stay in and helixes come out here. That's four. Prowling... Is Prowling smart? Maybe Prowling's not needed here. Maybe Quisali Pride Mage isn't either. Let's do Rest in Pieces and a Prowling. Keep a Helix in here. Take two Regals out. Let's bring just three in and pass it off to my opponent. Uncle DB, those are some nice, nice emotes. Those are some nice emotes. We're planning to run this, I guess, in two leagues, maybe? And then uh, that'll be it for the stream. This is the first league. Don't go anywhere. Question for the chat. This is an okay hand. We'll keep it. Do we run this in a competitive league? Or do we just chill? Or do we just chill? All right. Um, let's do this. Let's go get a stomping ground. That's where we want to be, I think. Let's go ahead and play out our little McCoddle and pass turn. Look at them, Mamotes, Lock, Aggro. Is that the order I put them in? No, I put them in the reverse order. You crazies. Hardcast Narc Amoeba here. I don't think that's what you want to be doing, opponent. Let's just play Fleece Main Line here and swing in for three. I really don't think that's what my opponent wants to do. Next turn, we can either play Prowling or we can play Lone Bolt Path. Maybe my opponent's trying to find the new line for Dredge. Tweak a few things and then take it into Comp League. Grumpy Cat has your back. What are we tweaking? What do we not like so far? I like everything. This thing's cool looking. I mean, we're just playing this. I added an extra one of these because I thought the art was really cool. No lie. That is, that is literally what I did. Three mana here. What do we got? Ashiok's fine. All right, I can't search. Triggered. Creeping chill. Wow, we have a damnation over here. And we have a prized amalgam. Okay. Okay, we can't. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause the controller to search their library. So this is a dead card right now. That's fine. We will manage. My very first set of sleeves were Grumpy Cat. I still have them. I think I remember those from a draft. This is a great draw. Uh, let's see here. Do I care about this? Mm -hmm. They're putting their own four in. I don't think I really want this prized amalgam coming around here. Let's uh, let's attack Ashiok here. Back in the day. All the creatures are on a uh, tribal theme. All the creatures are on a tribal theme here. All right, so Narcomeme is going to hit the bin. Ashiok is going to die here because I'm going to bolt it. So we're going to bolt Ashiok. I don't want them to use that again. And then I'm going to play Loam Lion here and pass... T uh, let's fetch. Let's make sure we fetch here before things get crazy. I have a Temple Garden already. Let's get Sacred Foundry and let's play Loam Lion. Pass turn. There we go. Good sequencing. I don't think I had any like grumpy cat stuff, but I did I did read many a meme. Damnation here is gonna be really upsetting. Oh, really upsetting. Let's go get our basic forest here. Again, fetching because it's a good idea. 
They are prowling in past turn. We saw the one damnation. We're kind of kind of hoping they didn't have a second one immediately. We played straight into that, and I respect my opponent for it. We will not do that again. We have one prized amalgam over here. Otherwise, they're not doing too much with their graveyard at the moment. Rest in peace would still be a good top deck. Uh, more creatures are obviously welcome. Another fleece main line here wouldn't be bit too bad either. Second turn of it being active, we would be able to monstrosity it, which would make it very difficult, I think, for my opponent to kill. I think one thing I did say is I kind of wish I had maybe an extra, extra one or two basics. Fleece main looks pretty grumpy. Yeah. I'll back that. A bit grumpy. Part of me just wants to fire... Oh, don't feel the ruin me. You don't know how many basics I'm running. Don't feel the ruin me. That, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> don't do it. By the way, this is a 4-3. I mean, that's... It's pretty good for three mana. I'm just gonna say that's a good. That's good. Oh, <laughs> Tessiger. Turn off these auto yields, please. I would like to path this little dude. I wonder if I'm supposed to not path it immediately here. Because mana leak's a thing? I think I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wait. We'll wait. What do they get rid of here? Narcomima Ashiok, One Damnation, and the Polluted Delta. Creep and Chill had already hit the bin. Oh, now we now we have the chance of a lifetime. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fire this off now. Before they get blue mana or anything like that. They might get a fatal push here. <clears throat> I actually don't have any more basics, so this is gonna be real awkward when I don't uh, find one here. This is the prime example of where another basic would be nice. Hmm. Do I play into another damnation? I think I do. And I play my land, and the idea is if I top deck a land, then I can monstrosity at any point. Can't be countered, by the way, chat. This card is busted. This card is busted, chat. And he's also in the dark now. He's taking a nap. He's taking a nap. Don't damnation me. Don't do it. Three blue. Okay. A little bit of Jason. All right. This one is, if you draw a card while the library has no cards, win. Uh, target player puts the top two cards. So that's them. And draw seven cards. Then the library has cards in it. You win the game. Okay. We can't let it get to that. Uh, we good. We good, chat. Yeah, we good. Just surprise Malcolm coming back. Warwalker Tribal, <laughs> yep. Ashiox and Jaces and who knows what else. Comes into play tapped here. There's our land. We do have to shock for this. But I think I'm okay with this because that will make this a 4x. I might just attack them. It's two turns attacking them. I mean, I don't care if they mill a little bit. That's up to them. So they block here. I have no real reason to fire off the monstrosity. At least not yet. I'm wondering if I should do it here at end step. I'll try it. If they have a way to kill this, they have a way to kill it. Now it has hex proof and it's indestructible chat. It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's just not gonna die. Yeah. Alright, they get another Narc Amoeba. Uh, the Narc Amoebas are gonna be a little bit frustrated and try to get around. I'm not too worried about this Jace still at the moment. They might be on defense though. Uh, nope, they wanna come straight at me. Alright. Come at me. So this is like a walker dredgy mixture here. 
Another prize to Malgum. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. They have to have a counter here if they don't block. I'm gonna attack them. Johnny Vengeance, awesome. My opponent should be a, very worried here. All right. Well, we're gonna see if they have a counter. If they have a counter, they have a counter. If they don't, I'm gonna keep this tapped, I think. I could also just kill it, but if they get another creature, it's kind of awkward, so we're gonna leave it tapped here. <clears throat> we're gonna leave it tapped. This allows me to tap it again if this guy comes after here instead of my life total. And I don't believe they have anything that is direct burn damage. They are milling themselves again here, and Jace is doing Jace things. I lose to Crippling Chill now? I would, yes, but they'd have to hit it in two cards. I feel okay. Uh-oh. Now they're going to mill themselves for a lot more. We're avoiding it. We're avoiding everything terrible. Because Grumpy Cat is blessing us. <clears throat> How do we feel, chat? This is at seven. A little worrisome. Another Fleece Main Lion. I think I just kill this, right? And go for it? I just kill this and go for it? See if they have anything that stops me from doing this? And then I play a flea mace, fleece main line right behind us? Oh, they're not dead yet. They could have a card. We never assume. We never assume. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he has. He could have counter spells. Keep in mind my uh, creatures were uncounterable there. That's a 4-1 with uh... tribal cowards. Tribal cats. Everyone make a grumpy face, chat. Everyone make a grumpy face. I wonder if there's a grumpy emote. There's a cat bag emote. What the heck is that? I don't think there's a grumpy, a grumpy cat. I'm sure that's probably copyrighted. Here, we'll put cat bag up. I don't know what cat bag is, but there's cat bag. Let's take that tiny sample size as gospel. <laughs> All right, let me put the list up here so you guys can take a look at what we're playing here. We're playing Cat Tribal in honor of Grumpy Cat. May he rest in peace. A great definition of memes on the internet brought face Joy, face joy, brought smiles to people's faces. I think about the only thing I'd like to do here is maybe like swap out a Razor Verge thicket for one extra forest or something here. Maybe have a basic uh, mountain just in case I need it, but the basic mountain's a little weak here. But otherwise, I, I kind of kind of liked what we did. It felt really good question is do we take it into a competitive and get slammed by competitive decks or do we uh do we just have some fun and play one more one more friendly what do i think about ambusher or war leader ambusher quantity zero ambusher what mm -hmm. This guy? Breach. If a creature is attacking you and you control a force in a plane, so you may cast without paying its mana cost. Cost and as though it had flash. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Scratch them for a couple times. An extra rest in peace might be good. What's blossoming defense for? Um, for not playing. It was just in the list. You have to you have to keep in mind that this list was published on August 11th of 2017. You can find the initial list here. I'll go ahead and link it. It's a new Mont list. So I don't know why Blossoming Defense is in there. It might have it explained. Maybe two more rips. We could maybe, I could see going up a third rip. I could see that. I, I think I have to order that. Yeah, I do. I can do that though, real quick. Let's see if I can get another rest in peace here. I'm trying to think of what else I might want. If we were to, if we were to take this into competitive, what am I worried about? I guess damping sphere is probably not a bad idea for the Tron matchups. If we go into, if we go into the competitives. I could see some of that. I think Stony Silence is still good. Condemn's probably all right. I can probably drop a Kasali Pride Mage, like two Damping Spheres, two Rust in Pieces. Pieces, Rust in Pieces. Um, what else is big right now? A lot of combo decks. We have a lot of removal though for the creature combo decks. What else, what else? Let's go ahead and rent these two Rust in Peace, I think. I like that line. I think we'll take this into a competitive. I feel good enough. We'll, we'll go ahead and jam two Damping Spheres here for a Pride Mage and a Blossoming Defense. I kind of like these Prowling guys too. They're, they're pretty sweet. But we'll get we'll get two Rest in Peace in here as well. Basic lands and four Rabble Masters since they're technically Cat Goblins. What? They're not Cat Goblins. I, I do need an extra forest here, I think, instead of instead of a Razor Verge Thicket, I guess. I think the scary thing here is that I can be taken off red through a Field of Ruin pretty easily. So maybe we just need to be cognizant of that. Mm -hmm. Or these Raging Ravines, maybe I need to mm -hmm. turn one of those into a mountain. I could see changing one Raging Ravine into a mountain. Thank you for the rest in pieces. The pieces. That would be maybe one other change I do here. A singleton mountain probably doesn't hurt us too, too often. Not any more than maybe a raging ravine would. Remember, we probably need to be a little quicker because we don't have really a board wipe here. The other thing I could bring in is like a settle the wreckage or something. Kind of as a one-sided board wipe. Let's go ahead and bring in one more mountain here. Mountain. Otherwise, I kind of like what we're doing here. Uh, the condemns are maybe a little bit extra if I already have the paths. So maybe I don't need the settle because I have the condemns. I bring those in and ditch loam lions or something. Kind of just do a lot of removal. I think I like this. Let me see a let me see a yes in the chat for running this in a competitive league. This will be the second league of the night, and this will be the last league of the night. We're just gonna do two. Unless anyone can think of something else here. Damping Sphere is alright against Phoenix, as is Rest in Peace. Damping Sphere is good against Tron. YOLO. I like that. Up to me. Good. We're good. I'm good with Cat Tribal. We have some play points to burn. Believe me, we're doing okay. Pyro Prison has been kind to us. It affords us to contribute to the Grumpy Cat Tribute Stream here. Grumpy Cat Tribute Stream. We'll do it. Let's go for a 3 2 in competitive. That's asking a lot. I'd actually be pretty happy with the 2-3 in competitive. So we'll, we'll be happy with the 2-3. We'll be very happy and ecstatic with the 3-2. And if we, for whatever reason, get something higher than that, then crazy. If we get lower, we'll just remember that we got a 4-1 already. So <laughs> it's already good enough.
Let's play some magic, though. Enough talking. Let's go. Cat Tribal. In. Modern. Competitive. And we'll see how different it is. Heck yeah. Cool cat. Can I get some cool cats in the chat? Here. Cool cat. Heck yeah. I need some sunglasses. I need some sunglasses. All right, let's go, opponent. Zero, zero. Uh, I don't have white, which is actually a little bit awkward here. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. It's a little bit rough here, though. Oh, there's there's that um, that's, there's that uh, deck that I just talked about, chat. There's that uh, <clears throat> that deck I talked about uh, <clears throat> as the first deck that we see. <clears throat> yep. We could be doing a Johnny things here in two more turns, but it might be too late. Cause they uh, they have that Natty Tron here. Them Natty Trons. Let's not worry about our life total healer. Temple Garden. Play Fleece Main and attack for three here. We're gonna see what kind of what kind of opponent my opponent is. Are they gonna be fetching that bridge? Are they trying to play that Karn Great Creator build? Or are they gonna just liberate liberate us? We'll find out. We will find out. A blast zone. Well, that's actually not too worrisome. So far. <laughs> I would like to see white mana here to be able to play a Brimaz. We'll see where my opponent is going there. There's a worm coil. All right. I don't have to attack. Worm coil plus something? Okay, so I can play Lion or Loam Lion. Fleece Mane or Loam Lion. I think it's going to be Fleece Mane here. And we'll just have to pass. I don't really want to gain them six and we only do three here. This is a little more classical Tron from my opponent. We have no way to really interact with lands here. And Johnny's not going to do a whole lot against this Urza's Tower. There's seven mana. All hell is dust. Ugh. Okay. We're at nine. I need a land here, I think. We do hit our land. Fortunately, I need the second white as well. So we're going to go ahead and get that. And we're going to sort of hope that... They can't do anything with 10 mana. I mean, they didn't put anything down for three. I gotta play a Johnny, make sure Worm Coil stays tapped here. But we're asking for a lot here. That's nine, 13 mana. Walking Ballista. There you go. Six, six Walking Ballista. And I think we're dead. I think we're dead, chat. Oh. That's all right. Tron can get some back on us. We, after all, have defeated Tron many a times in the last few weeks. All right. Cyborg. Well, we're going to bring some Estonies in, and we're going to get some Damping Sears in. These are all right. I think I can get rid of a pair of Helixes. Honestly, I don't think I really want the Path to Exile, even though they do have do have some stuff mm -hmm. that can mess with it. All right, we're gonna do Paths out and Helixes out. They bring Stonies, Damping, and a Chandra in. I'll bring one of these Prowling in as well for one more path. Obviously, we have a real problem against Walking Ballista or. Not Walking Blista against Worm Coil, but I'm not gonna play like that's what they're the only thing they're gonna play. I'm gonna play like I'm gonna get a Damping Sphere. 
I'm gonna get creatures down and I'm gonna be able to remove um, their O stone. This hand doesn't quite do that. Bunch of bolts here. I'm gonna mulligan this. I think I think we have better hate cards. Wow. That's that's this is not good. <laughs> Let's mulligan again. A five drop. We were dead on turn five. Uh, let's go one more. All right. Obviously, we're supposed to play Nakatl and Bolt. The deck is like, this is what you put in the deck. Come on. Play these things. All right, deck. We'll, we'll play them. You got us. There's the expedition map. Stony silence off the top. Hmm. Looks like my opponent will have natural turn three Tron here. Damping would be good here. Well, Brimaz is pretty cool. Brimaz is pretty cool, but I think Brimaz is too slow here. Just a little too slow, I think. Alright, what are they going to do with their 7 mana here? Karn Liberated. Karn Great Protector. If they uh, show up with Worm Coil again, I think that'll do it for us on game match one. Match one. Game two. They did go get the mine, by the way. Look at these little creatures. What are those? Interesting. All right. Three mana. Another expedition map. Okay. Goes and gets. And then they have four mana here. You're telling me that first hand might have been good. Sanctum of Ugin. That's not a good sign. So we're going to hit them for seven. Which is pretty powerful. The problem is that there's no... Um, no way to really beat an Ugin, I think, here, other than we're going to hit running bolts, maybe. I'm expecting an Ugin. I could be wrong. All's Dust would be a problem as well. That was something we saw match one. Oh, don't be Ugin. Sundering Titan. I think we just win. Right? This is cool looking. I'm gonna need to float this mana, don't I? I'm gonna float the mana now. I don't remember when the trigger, if I can respond to the trigger. So, mana is floated, opponent. Kill my lands. Go ahead and bolt. By the way, we have a <clears throat> mountain plains in hand, chat. I was playing around Sundering Titan by not playing that land. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. All right. We may have something here. Take five, opponent. Take five. Calculated plays. Calculated. <laughs> I'll take it. That was a, what was that? That was a mull to what? Fluffy Wolf two mulligans to four cards. And beats Tron. There might be something special going on in this stream tonight. 
I kind of want these helixes now. I don't think I'm going to get to these regals. Whoa, 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 come back here. Take two regals out. I almost want to just take them all and go burn plan at this point. All skill. Yeah, yeah, all skill. All skill chat. Let's do it. Let's go straight burn here. Burn feels good. A Johnny can tap something down here in his burn to the face. Chandra's a little bit of burn to the face. It's all burn to the face. I brought in a Prowling because it's a smaller, it's a it's a three drop that's pretty good. Maybe the Pride Sovereign should come out here and bring in one more. But if I can get a Presence, then it'll be fine. Uh, this board state, I like it because I have the Quasali Pride Mage. Could do something to a, <clears throat> a nasty one, like a map or something. So we'll see where it gets us. Wild Nakatl here. I'm gonna go get that Temple Garden, play this out. Probably the best draw we had there. See if we can be fast enough here. Sacred Foundry will be the next thing, and a Quasali Pride Mage right behind it. And then we have this burn package that I talked about. This will be land three, and then we'll see if we can top deck that fourth land for Johnny. Come on, don't have Natural Natatron. Natatron, don't do it to me. Natatron. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. We're gonna hit for four. And they missed the land drop. Things are happening in this stream. We don't know what to think about it. <laughs> I'm probably playing Prowling behind this, and then I have six points of damage, and I'm gonna do five next turn. I feel good. Not sure I should feel good, but I, I feel good. Sylvan Scrying. So we are looking at seven mana. So all is dust. I think I still play this. And then I can a Johnny and Helix Lightning Bolt. I can also Helix Lightning Bolt and kill the Worm Coil if they have just like Pride Mage doing something. This is five damage to them. Okay. All right, Tron. What do you got for me? Drawn mana. Seven. Worm coil. Map. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Just kill that. When I attack. They block here. We do five. And they get a 3-3 lifelink. How do I do this? How do I get enough damage here? So I'm going to attack for all. They're going to block. I kill it. They take... F They're going to only take three then. Not getting a stomping ground for turn one looks bad now? Yeah, it does. Blocks here, this dies. They take three. I can kill the three three lifelink and try to get them in the next couple turns. I think that's what I have to do. So they're gonna take three, go to eight, I'm gonna kill this, I'm gonna like helix it. Yeah, I'm gonna sack and kill so they don't gain the life here. And I'm probably having to kill the life linker as well, so they don't gain the life back. They're gonna take three here. We're close, we're close. We'll see what their next draw here is. Karn Liberated is a problem, especially if they take me off my red mana. 
Because, yeah, the stomping ground would be nice to have at this point. <clears throat> yeah, and I did do that. I am going to Helix this just to be more mana efficient here. I don't want them gaining this life. I I'll gain the life. There's not much else I can do this turn. Alright, what do you got? Expedition map. Goes and gets another tower. Three, six, seven, eight. Ugin. Ugin's not gaining them any life here. The Exile. Red mana source would be good here. That's an interesting one. Because I can play Damping Sphere and then Helix them. And they only have four mana here. Oof. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Okay. We're doing it. I'm going to Helix them at their end step. And then if I draw any fetch land, I can kill them. We're doing it. <laughs> Trying to take down Big Betty. Big Metatron. Come on. Come on. Getting some blessings here, chat. Something special's happening. Don't kill this. You can Sylvan's Grind. You can Sylvan's Grind. You can do that. Okay. Getting that forest. It's a good forest. Good forest opponent. That's five mana. I really, really need to top deck this, this turn. I feel like. I need that land this turn. I don't want to see a Thrag Tusk. I, I don't know if they'd be playing Thrag Tusk against us. This Damping Sphere also actually shuts off what I want to do. So, there is that as well. Let's tap correctly, chat. Let's, let's tap correctly. So that takes them to five. I can a Johnny next turn. So it's just a Johnny, ping them, and then hope they don't have some way to get out of this. Don't claim this, baby. Don't claim this. Three more damage, pass turn. Come on. Is it their turn yet? Okay. No end step claim. Kills a Johnny. We're praying, chat. Plays land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Worm coil. <laughs> Feels good to be me, chat. We've been blessed tonight. That's not a bad draw either. Bolt you, opponent. Deck is too good. <laughs> Our sideboard cards are already paying off. They were good sideboard cards. It was good to bring two of those in. Stopped us from crazy stuff happening. We're 1-0 in the competitive leagues chat with a little bit of cat tribal. Whew. We are one match away from hitting our goal of this league, which is to go 2-3. 3-2 is an ultimate goal and is really icing on the cake. This should not be doing this. I'm just saying, should not be doing this. How's everyone's FNM going? Let's, let's, let's focus on FNM, shall we? Friday Night Magic. Who played something wild? at FNM tonight. Come on. I'm sure someone's played something wild. Uncle DB, I think, was in uh, FNM. Was in between rounds. A little cheeky, by the way. Shoutouts to you. That was six minutes ago. My, my bad. It is cats. We were focused on killing that worm coil during that, that sequence. Had to focus. Channel the inner grumpy cat. All right, we're 1-0. Playing and watching. Uncle DB, man, you're doing awesome. 2-0. What a way to live. All right, my opponent probably, they've played me before. 
Probably is like, oh man, it's fluffy. That blood moon's coming. And then we hit him with that razor verge thicket and wild McCoddle. That's right, opponent. We're not your average blood moon player. Any what is this? Opponent, get that out of my face. Noble hire. All right, um, we probably are double Lone Lion. I know this puts us off here for a turn, but it does make Wild Nakatl bigger as well. Now, Lone Lions are one ones, but we are against the good old Infect. <clears throat> now, if they play Ink Moth here, I think I'll be a little bit upset, but if they don't play Ink Moth, I'll be okay. Lightning Helix is gonna need to be a removal. Not too worried about Blighted. Not too worried about Blighted Agent. Go ahead and put this into play so we get some oodles of damage here. I actually might just fire off this helix right now. Because we could die. So, what's helix? Get that blighted agent out of here. Bye. Pride Sovereign is next on the list. Cat combo? Nah, it's not cat combo. 3 one boggles. Heck yeah. Little boggles. Them little little things. Pitch blue. Oh boy. Pitch blue, man. Some spice right there. Alright, this blighted agent's here. My opponent has five cards. They could easily kill us out of nowhere. Double no hierarch is worrisome as well. Um No real reason to leave back here, unfortunately. I will attack, see if my opponent would like to block. They don't. If we had bolt, we'd be winning. We don't though. All right, opponent, do you have it? Cat packed? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? My opponent has a million things here. They can make this a two, two, three, four. They just need six extra oodles of damage. Yep, that'll do it. Not a whole lot I'm doing against that. Demonic Pact and Harmless Offering. Can't be blocked. Can't be blocked, chat. Mm, three damage. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. All right. So we need some a removal going on here. We'll bring in a couple lightning helixes. Um, damping spheres are also probably not terrible. We'll take the regals out because we got to be lower to the ground. I think I could bring in a Chandra as well as a removal. We could put Condemns in as well. Might be better than like Pride Sovereigns or Pride Mages. Maybe better than a Pride Mage and a Pride Sovereign. And just make sure my opponent has to really deal with our removal suite here. Cat Pack, Demonic Pack, and Harmless Off. By the way, our very first <clears throat> league match, we kind of only lost that because of the flood, right? All right, we're going to keep this. We have the ability to go get some cool stuff. We're going to lead with a wild Nakadal. Our opponent could kill us. We're going to go get a um, sacred foundry off this Arid Mesa and play wild and loam and see if we can't get there. I can't actually play the helix, so we're going to stay stay the course here. Wild. Loam Lion hit for three. This is, this is a lot of damage. These are two excellent draws against a difficult deck to beat. If we're in fear of dying, we'll helix our target. If we're not in fear of dying, we'll attempt a Brimaz. Another Noble. I don't think we're in fear of dying. At least it doesn't feel that way. No infect creatures right now. Dryad Arbor, that's fine. Opponent appears to want to go damage here. I gotta make it a 2 3 here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and play a Brimaz behind this. 
We will block if we need to. And we can then potentially put Helix to face. Round eight. We will be blocking whatever attacks. I'm not going to chance that. Opponent's going to have a three, three, a four, five. If they attack. They can't really go all in here with these nobles either. Tapping stuff down. They'll die on the crackback. We are representing lethal. Representing that lethal. Ooh. Ooh. We don't have to do anything. We don't do anything in this game. We just sit here and chat to you guys. That's how we win. All right. I think we just run it back. A lot of removal. The Condemn's a little bit weak. Condemn's a little bit weak. I like the Ajani a little bit more than the Chandra because if they attack with their single infect creature and don't quite infect us out and we top deck say Ajani, and are at four mana, we've gotten that far in the game. We can tap down their creature. All right, so here I do have a removal. My opponent did mull as well, so we're gonna go ahead and um, try to win this. Opponent's down to five cards, no draw. So we'll probably kill whatever on the spot. Wild Nakato's good. We'll go ahead and get that stomping ground to start with. Wild Nakato, past turn. Infect was my first modern deck. The traps are keeping a hand without any infect creatures. Yep. You don't want to do that, that's for sure. They dismembered and did all of that. Um, I don't think that was really worth it for my opponent. We're gonna go get a Temple Garden here, untapped. And from here, I can kind of go get basics, so I don't have to take any more damage. I saw your name on the trophy leaderboard. Thank you. Looks like someone is now BFS with Karnfather. <laughs> a little cheeky. Watch yourself. 100 bits of joy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, Noble. What are we doing here? I think I'm okay to attack here and then play uh, like a Brimaz or something. This seems okay. I kind of want to avoid. I want to avoid one taking too much more damage here and two just a spell pierce or something like that across from me. I'd rather try to do spell pierce here off the lightning helix. That chat. We're 2-0. We're 2-0 in the competitive leagues. Taking competitive down here on Friday. That card's all right. That card's all right. Playing some Cat Tribal in honor of uh, Grumpy Cat here tonight, and I think we're getting some blessings from the heavens here. Woo! Little Cheeky also, thank you, thank you so much for the bits, and you are on the leaderboard here for the month of May for those bits. Thank you so much. Cool cats. All right, we're 2-0, my opponent is 3-0. <laughs> I expect to lose here soon. Please, please squee, do not be an indication of terrible decks to come for here. No Blood Moon, please. <laughs> we're gonna keep this hand, it's actually not too bad. I could use one, one or two more lands here. Oh, it's the mirror. Oh, just kidding, it's not the mirror. Did I break the formats with cats? No, I, I'm, there's no way I've broken the format with cats. I, I promise you that. All right, opponent. Bird, forest, go. Don't show me. Okay, never mind. Black, green, green. Kitchen things. Okay.
All right. Well, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and play Prime Mage. And the reason for doing this is actually it allows Wild Nakatl to get in here for four. My opponent just gained a little bit of life, and I, I kind of want to take that life back. So let's do that. Opponent appears to be on a black-green type of list. Maybe Jun because of the bird, or Sultai or Abzan. Maybe? It's hard to tell. Sultai currently. Unknown colors for birds if bird just needs something else. They're tapping for white. Oh no, chat. That's a, um... Oh no, chat! Okay. We know what's up. Alright, let's attack with Wild Nagatl here. We have to get Kitchen Finks to die here some way, and then I can pick off Vizier. I can't really do this in response, so... I gotta, I gotta do it when it hits the grave here. Come on, opponent. You know you want to fire that off. Just ignore that I have Bolt Mana up. And I didn't play anything as the creature duck. We have a combo graveyard base deck here. <clears throat> I like it. I like this combo. <laughs> Opponent doesn't do anything. No surprises. Why didn't he combo while you were tapped? Um, probably just didn't realize it. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Uh, let's go ahead and bolt the Vizier here. <clears throat> Alright, <clears throat> we're back. I'm expecting maybe like a collected company here. Maybe they have a cord or something else to go get something. Alright. And we have no more actions, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, I'm going to turn off auto yields. Prime Mage could do something here. Cord incoming. No cord for my opponent so far. They gained a little bit of life, but no cord. They put the card on the bottom. They didn't like it. Another Kitchen Finks here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and F6 now. I'm pretty, pretty safe to do so. Another bird as well. My opponent's got a lot going on here. All right. So, if I were to attack in a V4, I could Helix. But then I can't play anything behind Helix. I think it's worth uh, trying to do this here with the Wild Nacatl. Maybe I can kind of kill something off here. And then he doesn't get as many Scries out of it with the Seer, which is kind of important. Only blocks there. In this case, I'm going to probably play Brimaz. I have to Helix the Seer. I could. Let's see where the Scry goes first. They put it on top. Alright. They liked whatever was on top here. I think I'm going to get let it be drawn. We're gonna we are gonna have to go up to the seer though probably. We'll see what they play. Alright. So in response to this, and I think here I want double white, so I need another sacred foundry here. I'm gonna get a little bit of extra red here as well. And we're gonna go ahead and attempt to take out the seer.
I hope that, okay. Woo! I, I hope that hit that. We're actually reasonably equipped for this matchup because we do have a lot of spot removal. Uh, four bolts, four paths, two helixes. We'll not bring condemns in because my opponent typically won't attack us. We are going to have to put the pedal to the metal here, or if we get another land here, we're going to Johnny. All right, Dusk Watch. My opponent can do all kinds of combo things. It's slightly terrifying. All right, bonus Brimaz here. So I can play Flea Smith Lion and Lone Lion. I'm gonna do a couple things. Let's go ahead and attack for four again. Again, I'm just trying to get something off. I guess they can block with Kitchen Finks and it just comes back, right? Maybe that's not a correct attack here. Yeah, that's not a correct attack. All right, we learned. We, we learned something. We learned magical things today, chat. All right, Brimaz, Pastor. My opponent's top decking, though. I guess they get to do this Dusk Watch Recruiter. We have to find a way to get a Johnny down here and kill this Vizier Seer. Vizier of Remedies. Dusk Watch. They hit something spicy here. We're looking looking bad. Another another recruiter here. I'm gonna play the Dusk Watch. I guess they can attack with Kitchen Finks safely. That's a thing they could do. All right, this is gonna bounce, do its flippy thing. I'm gonna activate it one more time. Kitchen Finks again. Goodness, so many. All right, we hit our land here. So we get to do a Johnny kill this, swing with this. This is a four, five. Doesn't quite get through everything. Maybe I just swing with Wild Mikado again. We're definitely killing this Vizier of Remedies, though. Let's get that off. So this is a 4-5. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty sizable here. I think I'm going to just attack with Wild Mikado again here. I'd, I'd rather maybe them block with one of these and I get get one off here. And if they don't, they try to do something where they're sneaking in here. I have Brimaz to block this, Quisali Prime Mage to block this, where the Wild Nakato kind of dies to both of them. What is this madness? This is a cat tribal. It's cat tribal. Kitty cats. Zoomies. We do have the ability to play Loam plus something next turn, which is kind of nice. My opponent has Kitchen Finks plus one of these in their hand. I thought they were going to play it, but they have one of these as well. So those are the two known cards. They'll be top decking again. So this is blocked, and this is blocked. So the question is, what do I want to kill here? Um, so at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast this turn, transform. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more, transform. So this isn't going to transform back. That would mean they get to play kind of everything, though. I think uh, I'm trying to get rid of this Kitchen Finks, maybe, but then they have another blocker. Mm, maybe I care about this thing more. Because it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, and then they can't play anything else. The Persisting is a little bit annoying, though. Let's kill the... Let's kill the 3, 2 here. Persisting is a little bit of a problem later, and I don't mind them persisting this turn. It doesn't really hurt a Johnny to have the two creatures here, and we can block very easily so far. Traded a Brimaz for four Tarkus Command once upon a time. Hey, Brimaz is pretty cool. 6-1 Cat Tribal? We'll probably be playing Loam Lion and Fleece main here. I can't imagine Brimaz is going to be sticking around here for too long. We'll see, though. Devoted Druid's pretty good. Man, 
opponent's like, hey, here's my board state, go. All right, this will flip. So I guess I'm just tapping down like the blue mana or something, or the black mana. I guess the blue mana is fine here. And I play Fleece Mane and Lone Lion here, because Brimaz doesn't make sense. Or I can attack with Brimaz and then replay a Brimaz. I'll get a token as well. That's probably worth seeing that if they block, I can kill one or two things. It has Vigilance as well, so um, I'm not losing a whole lot here. The 1-1 one, one gets blocked, but this 4-5 could maybe uh, do something here. Maybe. Okay, get him for four. So we'll just play a, a loam lion right behind this and pass. So we have four creatures. They have one, two, three, four technically that can attack. This one is an O2, so it doesn't really attack. They are top decking here. We do have a Johnny covered at least this turn, unless they do find removal. Three to do Duskwatch Recruiter to look for something else. Problem is if they find Vizier of remedies, then they just kind of go off here. Oh, they top decked it. They top decked it, chat. All right, I'm going to F6. If they were to tell me, if they tell me their win condition, I will scoop, but we will allow them to offer that information. Also, this is really good to know, and I think I'm gonna have some rest in pieces in here. <laughs> Oh, there's Walking Ballista. All right. We'll just concede to that. <clears throat> there's their win condition. <laughs> walking Ballista. Okay. They make infinite mana, so Devoted Druid is not really stopped by Damping Sphere. Rest in Peace, though, I think is going to do quite a bit here. And I'm going to bring in these Helixes as well. Uh, Regal can go out here. That's four. They don't really attack, so I'm not going to bring the Condemns in. I think I'm just taking out like one Loam Lion and maybe like one one maybe Fleece Main Lion. Kind of like one and one. I don't mind a little one, two, and I don't mind a three, three. Maybe the Fleece Main's better and I take out one more Loam Lion. Rest in Pieces, Helixes, Wild Nacatles, Lightning Bolts. Yeah, I think this is good. Oh my goodness. List was found online. I can't tell you why all the deck building choices have been made, but I will tell you that a Johnny Vengeance is actually one of the more powerful Johnnies. It can help lock down my opponent's mana. It can do three damage and win us games like it did against Tron. And it can be removal. Uh, the other Johnnies require creatures out and in, in a meta where board wipes and single target removal is reasonably prevalent. Uh, I don't think I want to risk that. All right, so we've kind of learned our lesson a few times here. The play here is to get like Sacred Foundry off this and potentially bolt something that they play here. If it's a Bird of Paradise though, I don't think I bolt that. So, and then we'll play a Rest in Peace right behind this. Sacred Foundry tapped. Got them removals. And we're just gonna jam this Rust in Peace out. I'm gonna force my opponent to deal with it. It makes all of our other spells a lot more powerful here. A lot more powerful. I guess I'm playing Pride next with an empty board from my opponent. There's arguments that leaving our removal package up is nice, but in two turns anyway, I can Pride of Sovereign and do this. This isn't an empty board anymore, though. Let's take the two damage now. Let's uh, Wild Nacatl and let's go ahead and get rid of the Druid here. And then next turn, we can Bolt and play Pride Sovereign. 
<clears throat> and we'll make some cats. Make some kitty cats. One set of teeth for my opponent. Our bolts is going to be probably very important here. Kitchen thinks who gets in the way. It gets in the way. I'm not sure I kill it, though, here. Okay, now that I drew the helix, we can go ahead and kill it. So we'll play our Pride Sovereign here, and then we'll Lightning Bolt this and get in for three. It is a creature that doesn't really work with the combo anymore. But I drew another removal spell, so I'd rather have six power on board and try to close the game out now. <laughs> Black mana's been found tapped. My opponent doesn't have too much going on, it seems. Alright, we'll leave that in hand for now. Let's go ahead and attack for one. I want to kind of activate this Pride Sovereign. Um, get some kitty cats going here. It's going to make Pride Sovereign bigger anyway. And then I get to attack for five damage next turn. Actually, a lot more than five, it looks like. All right, let's go ahead and activate this. Make some cats. It's exerted, so we'll take a turn here. It'll be fine. These have lifelink. I don't think the lifelink's gonna matter. But next turn, it'll be a 5-5, five, five, and there's just... There's just a lot happening here. I'm wondering if I'm supposed to Helix now. Maybe I am. I'm gonna wait it out. See what they play. Waiting might be the wrong play. But I have 8, 9, 10 damage represented on board. They gotta block Pride here. <clears throat> I guess they'd be three lower if I would have attacked, but then I wouldn't have, wouldn't have these extra creatures. I think I think our play is fine. I think it's a touch slow, but it's giving us a board presence. And if they play a couple creatures here or collected company, we can we can hopefully get around it. Looks like my opponent does concede though to the rest in peace. <clears throat> Probably is too much for my opponent, and our plethora of removal got us there. So we're going into game three here against our lovely friend here. I think we leave everything as is. I could see one argument for maybe a Chandra extra over maybe Loam Lion. It gives us a little more of a top end. Kind of like that extra removal that Loam Lion's not going to do. On the flip side, Loam Lion's going to maybe hit for two or four or six damage over the course of three turns. And we already have quite a few removal pieces. I'm going to keep this. It doesn't have a removal piece. We do have a bonus Brimaz here, which is probably the last thing I want to be seeing. But I do have the rest in peace. Now, this doesn't shut off if they just devoted Druid us. But that card will. Stomping ground here to start. We do have to sort of avoid something that will cause us to lose very quickly. Vizier of Remedies is probably what I tag with Lightning Helix. The Helix was probably the best draw. Unfortunately, Brimaz is going to be a little slow here. So let's go ahead and get our Temple Garden here. Our Brimaz can't really hit. Unfortunately, we're going to get rid of this Devoted Druid and hit for three. We do have Rest in Peace next. It'll shut down Seer. My opponent did kind of miss their land drop, so maybe maybe we get lucky here. There's another Devoted Druid. I need another removal spell, I think. We don't hit one, unfortunately. Fortunately, I do not hit one, so they might they might just combo out here. It's 
Probably the safest play here is just a rest in peace. While Nakatl obviously closes the door faster. But I have a feeling they just have the, the combo here. We did one removal. We tried. If they've got a hero, maybe go for it off of a collected company. Okay, three mana. Eldritch Evolution. Yeah, that'll do it. All right, we'll have six here. We don't know what their last cards are. If they don't have a payoff card here, then we uh, then we win, maybe. Could find the removal. They're kind of just going up here. I don't know, this doesn't tell me anything just yet. They had two Devoted Druids. There's no way for me to get around this Vizier. Mm -hmm. As soon as they play Vizier, and I try to bolt it or something, then they just do this. Cat Tribal. That's right, Slick Rick. That's right. Doing those kitty cat things. I'm tempted to just tell them to show me the walking blista, but they're almost there, so we'll uh, we'll let them do this. I can imagine, being that it is a combo deck across from us, we are a little bit weak to it if we don't find the removal. Maybe the Brimazes were a little bit too much to keep. We did have one Windswept Teeth. We didn't expect to need maybe the second one immediately. This looks like it's a walking ballista. All right, they got it. Had to do laundry. How's the cat tribal holding up in competitive? Uh, well, we just we just finished that match. We did lose, but we are two one, which I'm pretty happy about so far. Two one. Druid combo loves this matchup. Well, I mean, we have uh, four, eight, twelve removals. Maybe I should have gone a little bit deeper on trying to find the removals. That being said, if I'm pathing them, then they get to play a few more creatures every turn and and all. Maybe we're just a little bit greedy there. Maybe we should have uh, mulled for a little more, a little more something. Probably, probably should have. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hindsight's twenty twenty. We have two matches left in the night. Grumpy tribute chat. Playing some cat combo. Yeah, creature matchup in general. I can see that. They just get around the creatures. And they're very happy to play against something that is more mid range. All right, we're 2 1. Our Android 18 uh, MI is 1 1. I like this hand. We're going to keep this. This is okay. We'll see how it plays against Burn, it looks like. I have a couple Helixes. That path will be interesting. Let's start with our Wild Nakato pass turn. Uh, no plans to block here. I'll probably play Planes here. Maybe not Sacred Foundry, even though that would make that a 3-3. I'm expecting this to die. Oh, there's Fork Bolt. I don't really want to take damage either. What is the correct art for mountains in Pyroprism, in your opinion? Uh, if I draw my Singleton Mountain, I'll show you. Let's play both of these out. I don't have actually a forest currently, so these are just 1-1s. One Any deck with Fleece Main Lion. Heck yeah. We'll play Raging Ravine next. Unless I guess I get that uh, forest. My opponent is uh, struggling a little bit on mana. I don't want a path. Doesn't seem like the right thing to do at the moment. A uh, gut shot's one of them. Oh my gosh. Wow. 
Whoa, chat. Got shots and bolts one. Apologies for all that random stuff going on. Uh, let's do Sacred Foundry tapped here and let's play Fleece Main Lion past turn. By the way, my opponent is playing the correct mountains in Pyro Prison. Faithless Looting. It does appear to be Mono Red Phoenix. The Before the Faithless Looting, the gut shot was kind of the giveaway. So you're correct. Good eyes. Good eyes. Poli 237. Good eyes. Alright, I see a Phoenix in the yard there. Flame Keld. My opponent can't really attack here. Shoot. I can't do this with Johnny. Blech. Blech. Alright. Raging Breathing. I, um... Tempted not to attack here. Let's not attack. Let's see if I, uh... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Metamorphose. Alright. So it looks like they're gonna get their Phoenix back here. I'm probably having to block the Swift Spear, unfortunately. They're bolting me. And lighting up the stage, getting light up the stage and mountain. They're gonna get a phoenix back. I think I have to block the four five here. So I block the four five, and I path the phoenix. I get some light that light up the stage mana. I probably just can't take, I just can't take this straight to the face. I, I, yeah, I can't take that much damage. I'll get the land. Oh, that's the wrong mountain. Opponent. Wrong, wrong, wrong mountain. Play my thicket here. I'm gonna Johnny. It's probably a Johnny tick down kill this. Gain a little bit of life here. Pass turn. I could have Johnny the Phoenix and path the spe spear. I could. And then if they have two spells, they're just um, getting to do bring it back. One, two, three, four, five. It's a uptick here. Let's turn that off. Ivaros with a 25 rating miracle party, peoples. How are you find people doing today? Play Fleece Main Lion here. No real value to play the Wooded Foothills. We'll go ahead and pass turn. Prowess isn't permanent. Yeah. It's all, it's all good, my friend. It's all good. It's all good. See what my opponent wants to do here. Mac and cheese, bro. Hello. Hello. Welcome, you miracle people. Welcome. We're experiencing great things today, chat. The greatest. There goes a Johnny. We have a 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three here. I kind of don't mind going to 9. I, I kind of don't. Oh, my opponent didn't even attack. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I'm just doing this. Yes. Eat this opponent. I'm going to gain four. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> My opponent's out of gas here. Opponent is out of gas. Let's gain some life. Heck yeah. Big kitty. The regalist. We've been making so much mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. There's a faithless looting over here. I wonder if my opponent will fire it off. By the way, my opponent has decided that every single type of mountain they can play here. How'd the miracle people do today? What did you play, Evan? What did you play, my friend? Looted away garbage. 
By the way, we're gonna gain so much life here. It's, it's great. It's, oh my gosh. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Let's just attack with a lot of stuff. Let's go. We instantly spent a bunch of money buying unstable mountains for paper pyro prison. Nice. By the way, we're at 25. I think we're I think we're good here. Buying unstable mountains. They're they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I like me some Odyssey mountains. All right, opponent, what are you doing here? Tapping a lot of mana. Finale of Promise. X is one. You may cast up to one target instant card and or up to one target sorcery card from your graveyard. Each would convert mana cost X. If a card is cast this way, it would be put in the graveyard. They're casting Fork Bolt and Lightning Bolt. Go for it, opponent. Hits that with a Lightning Bolt. I can't do much about that. So that's fine. And then they're going to fork the cats. They are. Nifty nifty. Okay. So they got all my creatures here. He looks in response to prowess. I'm going for face here. I don't need to kill those creatures. I'm at 25 life. They're at 6. And I don't need a monstrosity this either. I just swing here. And if they don't respond here, I just helix them. Boop. Boop. Got him. You like the unset lands? Have two of each unset force in my hardened scales deck. Very nice. Okay, uh, lightning helixes seem reasonable here. I think a set of rustum pieces are fine. The question is how many? Probably two to three. So we'll look at five cards here to bring in. Chandra's question mark. Mm. Condemns are probably reasonable as well. My opponent does like to attack. What is not doing well? Pride is probably too slow. Even though it's a big creature, they're probably removing our, all of our other little creatures here. Quisali Pride Mage seems a little bit off here. Loam Lion as well. That would equal five. Vermez is a big body. I kind of like that. And Regal's mm -hmm. really good, but, though it is just a 3-3. Three, three. But it puts a lot of creatures on board. I kind of don't like the path as much. I mm -hmm. almost prefer Condemn. But I think we're going to do these five, these five in. Mm. Is three rest in peace too much? It probably is. I'm going to take one out and bring a Condemn in. Condemn's a little more flexible. Not, not crazy, but it's a little more flexible. You could go either way with that path deck, so I, or the, the rest in peace. Keep path. All right, I have a bolt. I have no red mana. This is a little awkward. I have a lone lion. Opponent's going first, and they did keep their hand. The regal's nice, but I'm not even at five mana, and it's not really a card I want. So these six, let's look at them really quick. So ignore the regal. Does this six win? The answer is no. Lone lion's just going to get removed. It's not even going to be a one or a, a two three, and fleece main lion can just get bolted. So let's mulligan this. This hand's worse. Okay, I got two of these guys. Let's mulligan. This hand's getting worse. All right. Well, we'll draw the bolt here to remove a creature, but otherwise we've kind of mulled to oblivion here. Is damping wrong against Phoenix decks? I've heard people say it's good and bad. Um. It's all right, I guess. not phenomenal I 
I mean, obviously they're they're doing stuff like this. I think we're gonna let them kind of pitch whatever. Mm -hmm. Depending on what they pitch, I might be pathing and bolting here in the next two turns. I'm afraid of a gut shot here, but I'm gonna go ahead and risk risk the chance of a gut shot. I'll risk it. You got a gut shot for me, opponent? No gut shot, all right. We can path this as well. I'm definitely not going to path on my turn. Then we get Brimaz out. I guess we're getting somewhere here. I guess we're getting somewhere. Manamorphos. Path is fine here. I do hope that they don't get a Phoenix in the yard. I guess if they get a Phoenix in the yard, I have to path that. Lava spikes me. We're down to one card. Brimaz is a big body as well. So let's go get Temple Garden. I do need need, need double white here. And we will path the bigger of the two here. I don't want to take three. I'll take my two. We'll pass turn. We'll, we'll hope Brimaz is big enough. Now Brimaz is vigilant as well, which is actually a big deal here. You have to remember that Ruins is sitting here. And if Brimaz dies, we have another Brimaz. That was probably the worst draw. I'd like to see a Helix, I think. At this point, they could fire off a Faithless looting from the yard, and then they could get us with Phoenixes in the air. A little worrisome. Especially after a Manamorphose here. Manamorphose, some spell, Faithless looting, Phoenixes in the air just kills us. Just kills us. <laughs> I guess Brimaz is okay here because I'm going to lose Brimaz number one here. But I don't want to be doing that necessarily. It doesn't progress our board state forward. Does not progress forward. He is the kitty king, but he's sitting on his throne right now. I, I like seeing no phoenixes here. I will block, obviously. I block and get a token. Got to read the full text. Attacking and blocking gets tokens. Gut shots me. He's going to get both of them. He's going to get both of them. Bolts me. All right, they're out of cards. Our uh, second Brimaz actually might be a uh, gas here. This ruins is dangerous. We're, we're kind of at a, at a virtual three here. That's why a helix off the top wouldn't be bad. I'd probably helix. Uh, that card's okay if I can live for two more turns. It's not impossible. I'm trying to avoid probably phoenix here. By the way, on my turns, I will attack. I don't see any reason not to. Basic land, so we are at three. Let's go ahead and play this guy down. It does give us Vigilance, Exalted Greatness. We get the Exalted Trigger as well, which is kind of really cool. They probably block the Cat Soldier. Nothing crazy there. I'm expecting two damage to face, and we'll be at three. They're looking for a Bolt, Skewer... Phoenix, they have a lot of outs here. Lava Spike. Did you hit it, opponent? We are looking for a Helix, probably. This is a good sign. Alright, we'll play our land tapped and uh, swing in with some, uh, some tokens here. This is kind of the same amount of damage as if we were to have gotten the the trigger. If I can live one more turn, we'll be good. It's very unlikely. It's very unlikely. 
Live one more turn and have a card that comes into play untapped? It's unlikely. All right, all right, all right. We got something going here. Oh my gosh. Give me that life. Don't have like Bolt in hand and been playing around Helix. I need this life opponent. Don't have it. They probably were playing around Helix. We probably just lost. I got baited by the basic planes. It's looking good so far. I am gonna swing with like, everything. I'm gonna gain life. Whoosh. Come on. Don't slow roll me, opponent. Kitty King. Kitty King winning us one. We're 3-1 in the competitive leagues, chat. We have accomplished our goal. We've succeeded on our goal. I could just end the stream right now, but we got one more to go. We got one more to go on our grumpy cat tribute stream. Playing cat tribal. May he rest in peace. Woo! Final match. Let's go. Doing the thing. While we're looking for our next while we're looking for our next game. Chap, you can play whatever you want at an F and M level. I promise you. You will run into difficult matchups. I promise you that. But you can do some really cool things too. Magic is meant to be played and had fun. Go to FNM, play what you like. You'll enjoy it 10 times more than trying to be too competitive. Lazy Warlock, we know, we know, we know. FNM equals Moto non-competitive. All right, this hand's not very good. I don't have red mana. It's a mulligan. Oh yeah, I also had a five drop. Oh, mulligan, help, help. We'll scry. Bottom. I need help. Oh gosh. It's fun as long as you own all the fetches. Dude. I've played mono blue with only islands in the deck. Oh no, chat. We are going to get blasted here. We are gonna get absolutely wrecked and blasted here in our final match of the night. By the way, Magic Online is really struggling a little bit. It's uh, feeling a little emotional, I think. I like to try the Mono Blue Narset un Days Undoing stuff. You definitely could. All right, we're gonna play this way and pray. What we're praying to do is get this Pride Mage out and then kill this before they jam out this through the breach. <laughs> we're not dead. We'll play on. There goes the graveyard. All right, let's restart. Legit meta decks. All right, opponent, what do you got? What do you got? I got nothing. What do you got? You got nothing. I got nothing. We just need a planes. That's all we need. What happens if we get a planes? Then maybe we win the game. Our opponent's so gonna draw out before we do. Oh my gosh. Through the breach. Through the breach. Hammerkull into the boar. All right. This matchup. It looks like they're a little bit more in on the through the breach stuff but I will bring in some rest in pieces. 
Um, I'm tempted to Damping Sphere. I'm also tempted to Condemn. Let's bring three Rest in Peace in for Regal. Let's keep Pride Mage in. Let's take out a pair of bolts for some condemns. I almost want to just bring this extra rest in peace in for like a loam lion. Yeah. Oh, okay. I assume that boar is counter dispels and all that. Counter dispels. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the Borio's vengeance thing. I don't think we can beat this. Our night be it might be ending here. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it more because I just believe, chat. I just I just believe. All right, Wild Nakatl, in we go. So the boar has to attack. Once the boar attacks, you may play a creature card like a Through the Breach. You can you can basically it's a Through Through the Breach attached to a boar. That is what that card is. Oh gosh. Collective Brutality would be... Oh. Alright. Tormenting Voice. Looking for cards, apparently. Let's uh, play Stomping Ground Tapped. That way we get a 3-3 here. Swinging in. It's huge, I approve. <laughs> it's huge. Alright, we do have the Helix here. Uh, Pentad Prism. That's not a good sign for us. Got a pair of helixes here, but I don't know if the pair of helixes is going to be enough. Alright, they're at 12. You got through the breach here, opponent. Going to 11. Is it Emrakul again? It's the boar. So it's a 6 6 boar. When it attacks, you may put something from your hand in. Let's go ahead and helix them. Mean mana efficient. Gain a little bit of life. I think I can go ahead and swing in here. If they block, then I just helix it. I feel like this is kind of their all in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's play a Fleece Mason Lion. This goes third to the top, so they get they get it again. Which is kind of okay. We have a two turn clock behind this. Get out of combat. Let's go. Five mana chump blocker. Would it have been better to double helix the boar? Maybe. I can't say I am uh, fully trained in this uh, this this deck here. Perhaps double helix would. I am gonna get in for seven damage though. We'll shut off fetch lands like that one. Oh, now they're dead on board. Let's, we'll see if they recognize they're dead on board here. We'll see. Faith is looting. I don't think they uh, realize they're dead on board here, chat. That's all right though. Really dead on board now. Do, 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 do. Let's make seven damage. They seem to be flooded. They have, they have three mana. I guess they had a few uh, lands from that uh, faithless looting. One and one. We have the opportunity. They don't seem to be playing out of their graveyard, really. I will say that. I'm hesitant to remove these rest in peace, but maybe I only need two and bring in a, the, the bolts or the helixes. 
Probably bring the two bolts back in and just try to go to face. Is maybe the correct line now. I'm gonna take the Regal out as well. I'm gonna bring a Chandra in. No, I'm gonna bring in the Prowling. I'm gonna get rid of a Pride, another Prowling. How low can I go here? Chandra over one Brimaz. Chandra does two damage. Brimaz has to attack after a turn. You know what? Chandra out. Helix. One Pride out, one Helix. We're going to go Super Burn to the face. Super Fast Batman. Hello. Darth Monopoly. What are we playing? Tribal Cats? Tribal Cats? I would consider myself a reasonable player at this point if we can do what we're doing tonight with cats. <sighs> helix, Helix, Johnny. Alright. I kind of like having uh, 12 points of damage in my hand. It does feel reasonable. Not great, but it does feel reasonable. You're testing Moon Stompy with the London Mulligan. You're sad it's gone? Uh, Razor Boar has, has been here. It's a little worrisome. We'll play Raging Ravine past turn. The boar in the here is a little bit frightening. That or they need the lands. And if they just legend this out and kill us on turn two, well, you know, I didn't even have a chance to play Rest in Peace, so. Gorio's Vengeance. Attacks with Boar, swings with Boar, plays in Emrakul. I don't know what to tell you, chat. This, my, uh, my deck has, I guess I could have had a Path to Exile, right? As soon as I take the two, two rest in pieces out. Yep. We didn't see the Gorios both games. We saw them do only through the breaches. So something kind of told me, hey, okay, it's through the breach with the boar. Eh. Can I be upset? Can I really, though, chat? 3-1 in a competitive league? 4-1 in a friendly? Playing cat tribal? Run the tribute for Grumpy Cat? I don't think we can. Cyborg into eight Gabos and Eidolon. Someone used the free Boros Legion deck code. Enjoy. Nice. Thank you for uh, sharing. Went 4-1 with Pyro Prison. Can't ever seem to beat Blue-White Control. Blue-White Control is, is a difficult matchup. It's harder than Jeskai because they have a lot of natural basic islands and basic planes, so they're going to get out of your Blood Moon. You have to have a lot more pressure on them or have some sort of top end that they can't deal with. Mass Poem. Thank you for the, for the code. Hopefully someone picks that up. Both teams tried. All right. We played Cat Tribal today. Something a little bit different. If you weren't aware of the news, there was the passing of a internet famous cat today, Grumpy Cat. So we thought we'd play some Cat Tribal in honor of Grumpy Cat. May he rest in peace, chap. We ran this in two leagues. We ran this in a 4-1 in a friendly, and we ran it to a 3-2 in a competitive. For what the meta is, and for what people say about, hey, Karn's ridiculous, and all this turn two stuff, and Neoform, which is, is worse with Vancouver Mulligan, we'll be honest. Uh, all this busted stuff you're doing, and we obviously didn't run into a lot of that tonight, but I think it just proves the point. You can beat down with little creatures, uh, and these creatures get fairly big, but I'd call this a mid-range deck. Uh, mid-range can get there, too. <laughs> Gorio's Vengeance, Pig God, Emrakul, Rest in Peach. That was the finale of the night. All right, chat. We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We are typically streaming Pyro Prison, which is a red prison deck featuring, at this point, Karn, but Chandra, Goblin, Rabble Master, Blood Moon, and Scenarian Bridge, and Chalice of the Void. Every now and then we do play these kinds of decks as well. If you're enjoying this, hit that follow button. Get that notification when we go live. Would you say mid-range is the hardest archetype? 
No, the ar hardest archetype is the one you don't understand. The hardest archetype is the one that you don't understand, you're not comfortable with playing, maybe you don't quite understand why those decks always win. Um, it is the one that just doesn't make sense to you. For you, that might be Tempo. Um, my blue deck that I kind of mentioned, Mono Blue, is a Tempo deck. I'm completely fine with playing Tempo. I can play mid-range Tempo combo and control fairly well. Uh, you stick me with an aggro deck and you'll watch me lose all night. <laughs> I can play Burn. I just don't see or understand the lines as well. Um, I would have to practice aggro a lot to get reasonable at it. But if you stick a combo deck in front of me, I, I usually can figure it out really fast. Um, you may have to explain the combo once or twice, but then I'm all about playing towards those outs. So, I mean, Spirits is a good example of kind of a more of a tempo deck. Um, your taxing lists are a tempo deck. So if that's your kind of thing, and you need to learn those, or you want to avoid those, do it. My problem with mid-range is usually there are more than one turn three cards to choose from. Yes, so understanding your opponent's deck, knowing what cards they have to kill said third turn, and then knowing what is your most impactful card and whether you want to save the impactful card or not is probably how you start to answer that. Lines are similar, but they're they're going to be different, and they all lead to different paths. That's why magic is pretty freaking sweet. Uh, you play a Tyros Tracker uh, without playing a land. You are providing a good target, for example, but you're not suggesting that you necessarily need a long game or you're okay with losing the creature because you have something stronger right behind it that you're afraid of a removal. Example would be an Assassin's Trophy or maybe an Abrupt Decay from your opponent and you want to get a Tarmogoyf that's supposed to be a 5-6 instead of your Tireless Tracker. If you're running light on resources, you'll throw the, the Tarmogoyf, for example, out instead. If you have to kill something with, say, a Pulse, or you're just wanting to be aggro with Rabble Master, or you want to be fast with Humans, Mantis Rider, you may be doing that if you don't need to lock something out. These are all kinds of decisions that you have to make, obviously, in the game. And I think the next level for people that play mid-range would be understanding your opponent's deck a little more. And kind of like chess, if you've ever played chess or you've heard that grandmasters kind of play the opponent's side too, you kind of start to do that with magic. Um, while you watch me stream, keep an eye out for when I'm calling out the cards from my opponent. You'll start to notice that I'll make every now and then a comment that I can play your deck for you. That's not an insult, and it should never be taken as that. It is confirming that I know what my opponent's probably better plays are or what they're most likely to be playing next. And if I'm doing that consistently enough, then I can make a better play feeling more confident that I know what they're going to play. Rant over, though. A lot of things to learn in Magic. As always, I enjoy you guys watching, chatting. It's been a blast. Hopefully you've enjoyed this cat tribal thing we did tonight. I think the best thing I can tell you is if you love control decks... Don't hesitate to find someone that plays like an aggro deck and watch them. Yeah, scroll through Twitch. The last thing I want to do is watch an aggro deck. I'll put one on, and I'll see how they're playing. You know, every now and then I see them punt real bad. Okay, let's learn from that. So on and so forth. Rant over, though. Let's be better Magic players chat. We stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We may stream the challenge. That one's always up in the air. That's usually on Saturday. I have to see what the wife and I are doing this weekend. HLG's got it too. Who needs to think when you can just slam in, chat? <clears throat> All right, let's see if there's anybody to raid and then we're gonna close this one out. Thank you guys so much. If you're on YouTube and you've been watching this this whole time, one, you're pretty amazing. Two, consider hitting the bell subscribe buttons as well on that YouTube. These get loaded up to YouTube afterwards, after a day or two. 
So if you are watching now and you're like, hey, I want to see some more content, you can find my YouTube somewhere in the panels below, or you can just Google Fluffy Wolf 2 and YouTube. That should find it. Let's see if there's anyone to raid here on Friday and keep the love going from our raid earlier from Ivaros. Thank you, Jago Bumpkin. I appreciate it. Uh, it's standard on MTGO. That's a little interesting. Uh, what is this? Vintage Cube? No. No, 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 no. Vintage Cube? No. No, 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 no. Am I at the bottom already? Oh, there's a lot of arena going on. I might just send you guys out into the wilderness. Uh, War Draft. Karn. Sultai Rex Sage. You know what? We'll just send you out into the wilderness chat. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Your choice. Go find another streamer. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>